Oh. Welcome to Kitchenette Best Friend. I'm Carly. Yeah. Yes. And we're best friends. Yeah. Working on it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Through baking. Yeah. Like all great friendships. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Built through the hot. Yeah. Through, yeah. through the sweet, tart. sweet center. Tart. It's a tart to A tart to tell. A tart to tell. Is okay. It's have you had one before? Mm-hmm. I'm realizing. Have you heard of before I sent you the recipe? Because of Great British Bake Off. Which is many things, I'm real. So this restaurant my mom and I used to go to, it was owned by the same people that own Marseille, and it, mm-hmm. it used to be somewhere else. I don't know what it's called. They had the best crepe of my life. No. But they did a caramelized onion tart to tan oh, with what? goat cheese on top mm. as an appetizer. And it's maybe one of the best things I've ever had. And I thought that's what a tart to tan was for a really long time oh. until I realized it was apples and I had an apple one once. And I was like, the game really? got changed. <laughs> okay, but did the game change in a good way? Or yeah, yeah, it's so it? good. Hmm. I could say, not no on a caramelized onion goat cheese. Oh, it was delicious. I that sounds one day we can yeah, make that. That's too. Yeah. Just like French onion soup in a tart. Yeah. And I'm not really an onion girl, but like that. That's delicious. delicious. But also, a caramelized onion is not really an onion. Like, that's a. It's, it's sweet. Yeah, it's yummy. Yummy. Fuck. Yummy. Hey, everybody. Hi, AP. Teach Shane Adam how to do what? What are you saying to us, Nathan? Smoothest intro. Hey, JG, that. Smoothest intro so far. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. He built it. It's all yelling at the computer for 10 minutes sets the toe right. Let's not try it again. <laughs> oh, guys, tech stuff's hard sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's pretty much impossible to go wrong with caramelized onion. Yeah, you do it. Oh, it's so nice to see you guys. Oh, Martha says, by the time you and Jay visit for the winter, the armory will be open. It has an adult dodgeball court in the facility for after you brunch. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Jay, what's the armory? I assume it's a place in St. Louis. Uh, oh, is it the thing that's next to the thing that we went to? Uh, that wasn't the armory. That was like a, that was something. Yeah, it was like a food hall, but so, next to it was a bunch of stuff that wasn't like, open yet. Yeah, I think that might be it. Okay. It looks cool. Yeah, we went to, we went to the food hall there. That was fun. But we, I don't know about that. We're not, we're not, we won't be inside this year. I know. We'll be in Philadelphia. Go on, Bay. Give her the follow. Oh, the follow. Why do we go? Bay. Uh, blues game. What's up? Have hockey begun? Baseball's not over. Oh boy. Isn't football happening? They can't all happen at once. Do they? They don't. They happen not normally. Oh, did the where Phillies play today? I don't know. They've been doing a good job. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't follow sports anymore, man. I used to. I used to be really into it. I just don't have the capacity anymore. Can't keep track. More games. I think so. Go out. Oh, they don't play till Tuesday. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, today we're making a tart. We're making an apple tart. Yeah. Which should be delicious. It's basically if a pie was an upside down cake. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. It's cute. It's cute. What inspired this tart <laughs> is that I went to Whole Foods and I purchased gluten free puff pastry. Which, honestly, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Also, if there's leftovers, we can do like little fun things. We could do the little tarts. Yes. Get. Oh, we could put so many fun things in there. I know. We have a leftover. Not awful day. Oh, that was a rough day. The leftover. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we raised. We could roll cream. Cream. Oh, cheese. Okay. Very few leftover pie. Very few pastry dough. Make little baby bell pastry. Oh, it's actually thawing out kind of nice. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we, uh, it's. I only looked at the ground freezer and you're yeah. supposed to. Yeah, no, no. Oh, no. But we still have a lot to do. So we're going to prep the apples. Yes. Yeah. Looks like peeling and sliced. Peeling and then it has yeah, a third, but these are quite small. Also, it's true. A third seems tricky from a mathematical perspective. You're yeah. correct. Are they, they're supposed to, is it, is it for the aesthetic or is it for the texture? The texture, I think. Okay. So, so you like, like the apples are like, do, do, do. right. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, but then how are they in place? Yeah, I don't know. She says thirds. Yeah, apples. I just assumed they were in halves. And I we do one right and cut it in thirds and see what it looks like. Well, but thirds which way? You know what I mean? Like if you're cutting it, is it 
Is it she does like one like slab in the middle and then the two butts and then the butts go on top? Does she have pictures of herself? We're using the Smitten Kitchen recipe. Uh, cause yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, she has pictures. Aha. That's not thirds. No. Does that make any sense? What? Is it? It's like she cuts like a little and then a half. Well, she cuts the core out. Oh, that's my thumb. Don't look away. <laughs> it's fine. I got it. It's good. Do you ever... This is the nerdiest thing I'll ever do. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Do you sometimes just eat an apple with a knife like an old-timey movie? Oh my god, 100%. Like, just having a conversation, eating an apple with a yeah, knife. You're standing in a kitchen. Can either be the most endearing, <laughs> the most endearing, like, kind of folksy thing to do, or the scariest <laughs> thing someone can do. Depends on, you know, it really the tone. It depends on the tone, catches everything. In it's that. either like a hot boy in a Jane Austen movie, <laughs> or, 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 or a villain. He's gonna kill he's gonna a little bit of both. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's really fun. Okay, so what do we think she did? Like, did she go like this? And then this? But then it doesn't... That's not... The... Well, you kind of have to go like this. Like, you put them like this. Because they will kind of fall. All right. I don't know. But then they're not the same size. So they're not going to cook the same. What are you doing to me, Deb? <laughs> Oh. So like all the butt the butts support the little inter one? Yeah, and then they end up looking like this. Like was entertaining. I don't understand. No, but I'm really gonna uh, uh, but isn't that kind of what it looks like she did? I don't know. It looks like small. What was it? We're trying to figure out how to stack our apples. Here's the thing. Because then she like this. Please. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, as long as we've got sort of like bulbous bumpiness, we're fine. Yeah. I think we could probably. I missed some. Sorry. That's okay. So probably get away with. Well, I guess I just do all the same thing. Amanda, serious math brain engages. Oh no, the serious math brain was this morning. I had to do calculus again, guys. <laughs> It went well. I don't think I've ever been so calculus. You shouldn't. It's not it's not a thing that anyone needs unless they're a math tutor or a scientist or a little like an engineer. That's a yummy apple. That's a yummy apple? Good. Good, good, good. Um all right. Well we'll just we'll just push them. Alright, so we're gonna peel and cut the apples. I only have one peeler, so I'll just do the other ones with a knife. Um and we also have gifts to yeah. unbox which is crazy and exciting uh wendigo watermelon are you here today are yeah, you here we have your presents i hope so uh we'll probably do that we're gonna prep the apples first because we want them to dry out just a little bit we have a couple tricks for that uh, but the we're adding some caramel and we want we don't want the caramel to get watery is kind of the worry uh, so we're going to let them dry out a little bit and while they do that, because this is only like a 25, 30 minute in the oven kind of bake. Yeah. Um, and then it has to cool for a bit so that me. it doesn't slosh all over the place. Uh, Adam Ash says, I know this f is food is going to be. Huh? What? Oh, my brain just broke. I know this is food is going to be. It is going to be food. It is going to be food. And probably good is maybe. Yeah. Probably well, everything's fine. Slight, slight bruise there. My bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I I'm very excited for this. I love a I love like a simple, easy, high, fancy. easy, fancy, but also like a, a fall dessert that I can just like whip up or even do like a small version of. And like people are going apple picking, and you can use up a lot of apples in this. My dad has an apple tree, actually. Ever? Really? No. no. Backyard, so we used to always have like uh, just ample amounts of apple pies. My dad has started uh, doing pies for like donating pies for like Thanksgiving and stuff for and doing or just using all the apples and making apple sauce and oh. lots of like lots of we made apple sauce in kindergarten. It was fun. Did you? Yeah. 
Kimberly, you can't not use that knife to take a bite from the apple now. I mean... Well, that's true. That's very true. I'm going to get myself a good spot. Uh-huh. You go like that, and you go like that, and then you just kind of... Yeah. Did I look cool or scary? Both. Thanks. Cool and scary. You're very intimidating. <laughs> I did. I'm scared. <laughs> One of my other favorite things to do, like in combo, like in tandem, is like do the apple slice, bite, spoonful of peanut butter. Oh, uh huh. The best. <laughs> oh, like a barbarian. I cut it in half. We're going to use that one as well. <laughs> Those are small. Small. Just two halves. I think possibly. so too. Do half. Keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Oh, do you get told that? She says, I know this food is going to be great. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You are lovely and wonderful. Thank you for. Coming to hang with us. Uh, Blacksmith says they're horrid with knives. I am also horrid with knives. That's why I didn't fight you when you said you would use them. (laughs) I also don't have a core and I'm using a teaspoon, so. I didn't notice you were doing that. That's clever. Thanks. I just do like a scoopy thing with the knife. It's not successful. I'm also going to get this little guy out. Yeah, I do like a little... Can I show you what I do, actually? Yeah. Yeah. So I go, take this guy. I do like a little diamond. And I go in it like a diagonal. And then make a little scooping motion with a knife. It's not as successful. That That's sounds how done it. like you might do yourself. Have and have. But it's not. As a former deli clerk at Schnucks, you're real accurate. My fingers and sharp objects are at odds. Ugh. Yikes. Like, did you use the thing, like the slicer thing? Oh, I just made my heart stop. Yep, terrifying. So scary. Big machinery. No, thank you. Here, I'm just going to put these in here for now. So they're away. Um, so, how was your week? It was good. What did I do? It's always a good start. Good sign. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? Well, we... Was the escape room last week? No. No, that was two weeks ago. Oh, two weeks ago. My sisters were here. Right. And it has been a full week since then. Yeah. What a week it's been. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What else has happened in my life? Um, I've been boring, apparently. Yeah. Oh, work stuff, Broad Wasted stuff. What's Broad Wasted doing? Um, we're actually recording tonight. Oh, we're back. And then we recorded two episodes last week. Nice. In one day. That's a lot. Yeah. How was your voice? It's okay. okay. They were both short. Um, and then we recorded with my friend Robbie Roselle, who's like a Broadway. He's like a theater, I think I know like the name. personality. And he works for Broadway Records. Um, and he recommended a show to me that I have now been watching. What show? Reboot. I just started that. Yeah. I watched just the pilot, but oh my gosh, it's very fun. I mean, I love... The pilot's great. It's great. It's a very good. I mean, I love all of the... Everybody. Randy Tunnel, Judy Greer. I mean, powerhouses. Yes. Everyone's... Yeah. How far so good are you? Like more like the third episode? Okay. Good. Yes, Hutchini Broadway. So it is a program you can listen to on any streaming platform. Thank you. Just look it up. Oh, good. I haven't lost any fingertips yet. Got to keep musician hands safe. Oh, we're your musician. Get a good pipe guy. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it looks like, you know. That's also a good judge of how many apples we need putting it in the pie dish already. Actually, very smart. You are correct. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, cool. I love that. How fascinating. How did you get into the business? Let's hold a full interview. Yeah. <laughs> you and Chad. I want to know, like, why did you choose the bassoon? Did you start with bassoon? Like, was that an option in your elementary school band? <laughs> it wasn't at mine. It wasn't at mine. I don't think so, anyway. Anybody play the bassoon? Trying to picture a bassoon. What was the bassoon? Really like yeah. In Peter right? Wolf, which one's the bassoon? Uh, oh 
Yes. I was supposed to play clarinet. Okay. Oh. That's different. Although, I guess it's that different. No woodwind. Yeah, and it's just bigger and longer, right? Yeah. Oh, Black Francis is drummer, pianist, and a bit of viola. Black, oh, wow, you contain multitudes. I know. It's amazing. Yeah, throw in a string instrument in there. Overworked from a fellow twig sucker. What? What? Is oh, a woodwind. Is that what they reed? say? Is that, cause it's a reed. A reed. Oh, no. I really wanted to play saxophone oh, because oh. I liked the song from Miss Saigon, a solo saxophone. Nice. Um, which is not the name of that song. Uh, <laughs> I don't but I also was in a choir at the time, and my mom said that I should play something that you that I could with? sing with, and yeah. not like a saxophone. So she, so I played xylophone. Yeah. I mean, that's why piano and guitar. Yeah. I already was taking piano lessons, so by the time you had to pick an instrument to be in band. Ah. Xylophone and general percussion. (laughs) Are you good at percussion, Ian? Like, I'm good at that. Yeah, Yeah. that makes sense. And I feel like I had a one-up when I got to college and we had to, like, clap out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, conduct. I was so good at, like, music theory class. Oh, I love My time to flat me. Jay did a summer school for music theory. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. It is very mathy. Yeah. So, and like, I was like very left good at math and science mm-hmm. and creative. So it made yeah. sense that theory is where I, oh, I put that out. Not that I very much hate math and science and was happy to not have to do them in school. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, but it's done good well time. most of the time in school. Like it's not, it's not done in an interesting way. And I wasn't going to be a scientist. Right. So I was like, why would I continue to learn chemistry? Yeah. It's not useful for most things. No. I will say there is something very like, uh, sort of validating from my younger self, like sitting there lamenting, you know, when am I ever going to use this? And I use that stuff all the time in my work. Fair. That does feel nice. Although... The payoff is uh, not, I mean, it's, you know, I have to do calculus frequently and like, what a bummer for me. Okay, maybe it's enough. We have one spare and Oh, we have a race. In plenty of time. We have not started yet because we're prepping apples. Yeah, no more apples and then we'll eat that one later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Yummy. Yummo. With knives. Do. <laughs> they have something to do with apple peel. Why not? I feel like you could like dry them out and have like a little leather thing to chew on, but just the skin. Just the skin? No. No. Can you like ferment them into cider? I have no idea. Neither do I. Mold apple cider with leftovers. Ha ha. Okay. I love a mold cider. I have never. I love a mold. Many things. A mold, a mold wine. Love a mold wine. Have you made mold cider? I've ever actually made malt cider. You just get cider and then put spices in you it. Just kind of let it, yeah, sit in that. I don't know. I don't know. Do it. And you can buy mulling spices. They're seven degrees tonight. Good lord, where do you live, Blacksmith? Saint Louis. So, oh, that tracks. You guys were just talking <laughs> yeah. about that. Yep. Wow, that's it's already getting that chilly. I know. Oh my goodness. Listen, the Midwest is weird. It's so hot, <laughs> and then it is so, so cold. cold. Yeah, I mean, cold. Yes. Yeah, really cold. And we get, like, deep in your bones cold. That's the thing I can't stand about, humidity cold. Just yeah, like, and we all have to walk in it, because no one has a car. Yeah. Tomorrow's low is 29. Huh. No heat, only blanket? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, then our mic heat hasn't been turned on yet. Really? No. How hot is that? Really? It has to be at least 55 degrees for, like, Five days in a row or something for them to legally have to turn it on. No, I think it has to stay. No, it has to be. Okay. All right. Um, Because our new location at work is also radiators and controlled by the building and not us. Mm. And it's cold in there. (laughs) And small children dancing. Not ideal. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing with this little lemon thing? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Our lime thing. Did you get? No, it wasn't just lemon. You good? Pasta attacking you? Got a chini. Mm-hmm. Sure does. And then we need lemon juice. Do we think sugar water? I only have lime. Okay. All right. So, I guess what the citrus 
pulls out the liquid? How does that work? And, but it also, um, a little citrus in caramel will make sure the stays liquidy. Mm, okay. So let's make sure I have exactly three quarters of a cup of sugar. Yeah, That's let's do that. Need. And I'm just going to put these guys and do a little extra time. Wait, that was right. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. I can't believe you didn't actually measure it and you just knew. No, I was like, that's probably enough. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay. So we're going to do, we're making caramel. Uh, do not stir four minutes. Whisk until dissolved and reduce heat. Okay, so we're making basically just a simple sugar caramel. Yeah, and then you add in butter. Um, take it off the heat, add butter. Keep what? the apples from browning. If oh, yeah, that too. That, too. that makes sense. That's good. I knew that. <laughs> I was going to say. I was going to say it. Okay. So I'm going to shake the sugar over the thing. And Fettuccine, you attacked her. The pasta fell out of the thing, so I was yelling at you. It was, it was a funny bit in the moment. It worked in my head. But uh, at the time. To be fair, it wasn't Fettuccine. It's whatever that weird shape was. Oh, okay. So Fettuccine, you're off the hook. Okay. All right. Medium so, heat, it says. It says... Medium high, do not stir four minutes. And this is the part that scares me because we don't have more sugar and I have ruined caramel so many times. So I'm gonna let you take the lead on that. We're gonna see what happens. And then how much butter? Four tablespoons? Four tablespoons cold butter. And that we're gonna just like chop up and put in here. No, it goes in the caramel. Oh, no fat tracks. Remove from heat and add butter, I see now. And then add the apples, return to heat, and then we cook it for 10 minutes. I see, I should read things. That's why I write them down, because yeah. then I have, like... A little reference to... Yeah. Because that's how I, like, memorize things, too. Oh, yeah, because you can... Because mm -hmm. then I can just picture how I wrote it. Yep. Like, I can picture myself writing it. Mm -hmm. That's actually that a weird, weird thing I recommend to my children. No. My children. My dear children. <laughs> my children. Come no, no, no. What if they four minutes? Four minutes. So three minutes, Rock. You can also have to keep the butter really cold, so yeah. I'm going to put it back in the fridge. That's interesting because we're melting it. Maybe it's a Maybe it'll stop it from down. cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Science. That makes sense. Science. Remember how we both said we're good at it? <laughs> we're both pretty science. We're both pretty good at science. <laughs> I take no responsibility for the actions of my pasta brethren. It was but it's a free pasta that I want to try because it's from Italy. Ooh. It looks it's such a little weird little shape. Like <laughs> tail. Sorry, I ruined it. <laughs> Um, I made myself some gnocchi this week from our gnocchi we made before. And let me tell you, I have never been so pleased about something that I have made. I mean, I kind of like half made it with you, but I was over the moon. It was so good. I haven't had any leftovers yet. I think I'm going to have them tonight. Do it. It's so good. I, I went for a walk with my friend Sage, whose boyfriend is Ryan, who's gluten-free. Yeah. And she said that he recently made gnocchi gluten-free that went terribly. Like it got, it totally failed. And I was like, really? Like, well, fascinating. I know the way now. Like, let, let me come over and we'll make it together. But now I'm, I'm, I'm so curious. I wanted to get your perspective. What do you think happened? Like they didn't, well, like we like, said that we needed a lot more flour than the recipe. Maybe, it, yeah, maybe it was like Maybe flour. they just used the recipe and didn't know to keep going. Oh, maybe. So they didn't have the texture. Or they like subbed it for some sort of weird flour. Because one time I didn't have my blend and I used cassava flour, and it worked out just fine. But it like it's like a little different. Yeah, it was a little denser. Right. Interesting. I was just fascinated. <laughs> oh, it's melting. Yeah, it's supposed to. Yeah. So, uh, see, this is the part where I start to panic because there's like one little spot that's kind of dark. So I worry that it's that's to get dark at some point. I guess that's true. But I see what you mean. Well, we have one minute to stare at this dark part and decide if it's burning. So my, when I've tried to make caramel in the past, there, there's a funny TikTok about it that I made because I was so just like desperate and sad to try and make it right. Because the different recipes are like stir, don't stir, give it a little wiggle, give it like uh, a certain amount of time and then stir. And then it's like you're essentially melting the sugar. I'm just going to turn it because it was all melting on that one spot. See? Yeah. So like one spot burns, because maybe that's just like your, maybe that's just the way you're the hot process. That's no. right. Okay, well now I'm just going to start stirring it now. This 
So what it says is whisk until dissolved and reduce heat after the four minutes. Okay, so whisking until dissolved and then add the butter and then add the apples and return to heat. Or no, sorry, remove from heat, then add the butter, then add the, okay. Oh no, that's a little piece of my whisk fell off. Oh, let me get that little thing. I got it. Oh, it's like, oh, get out. Oh, it's like, it melts. I think it's just old. Fair enough. And so just like a little bit of the silicone came off. Okay. All right. So that's all. All right. So then, where do you put it, butter? Butter. Right. And it's used already. The heat. Okay. So turn it off the heat. Off the heat. Remove from the heat. And then we're going to do the butter. And then the apples. Oh, that smells I mean, It smells amazing. All right. Oh, it's bubbling. I'm so sorry we don't have Charlotte, but we don't. We don't have Charlotte today. That's okay. Until it's melted, maybe? I don't actually know. It didn't say. Remove from heat and add butter, add apples, and return to heat. Yeah, I think we can just do it. All right. In they come. Switch utensils. Mm. Smells really good. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, what smells better than butter and sugar? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oops. All right. So add the apples, return to heat, cook 10 minutes. And it says that it will look like it's teasing, but when the apples, like, release their the juices, juice. it'll go back to being liquidy. Oh. So I trust Deb. I also trust Deb. Do we turn the heat? Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. And what is it? Medium high again? Uh, no, it doesn't say. So I'm going to let it be a little bit on the lower side. Yeah, that's low medium. Good. All right. And then it's 10 minutes. Right, we'll see what happens. That smells delicious. Oh, it really does. All right, so cook 10 minutes and then arrange around, arrange round, round side down in pre dish, pour caramel over top, top with dough, prick it, and then bake. So, when was it supposed to sit? It's supposed to sit after the fact, right? Yeah. Then we might want to just. Oh, good call. Do that. I thought we were going to wait longer to. I don't know why I thought we would like let the apples sit and. De juice. That's what I was thinking. I mean, that looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can let it just kind of sit? Or do you yeah, think it needs so. to be? Okay. Let me turn this one over because it's got a little caramel in it. A little cooler. Okay. Well, that's not going to be being too hot. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gary. The lighting is amazing. They might thank you, Gary. Oh, come on over. Gary, you're the best. Making care from from scratch scares me as well overworked. 100%. It is. Well, I failed so many times and I've wasted so much sugar. And what a bummer to waste sugar. Know. How is that feeling? The edges look good. Should I put it in my shirt? It's like... Okay. Use any preferred gluten-free flour for dusting. Refold pastry sheet and roll out to desired thickness. We recommend refolding and re-rolling the dough to add additional layers. Ah. At this point, you can also add herbs and seasonings. Oh my goodness. What what herbs and seasonings would be good in this? Oh, no. Adding cinnamon to the dough? Would that be a mistake? Mm. I don't know. I'm going to try and like open it in a way so it. He wants a roller or a, some kind of something? So that it thaws a little easier? Yeah. Oh, got it. Ding, ding, ding from home. Santa King, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> Uh, we're having a great Sunday. We're making a pâte de thym. It is apple and it's going to be delicious. We currently have apples 
cooking on the stove in caramel. Uh, caramel or caramel? Have we talked about this before? Because I think I now switch because I'm self-conscious about it. No, me too. But caramel. I grew up saying caramel. Caramel. Yeah, me too. Okay. Caramel. Oh, caramel. Well, this looks like heaven. Yeah, it really does. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a picture. Mm. That's really fun. It's made caramel. And in a lot of oh. time recipes, you would just like leave the apples like this and put the pastry on top. But I do not, my pans are really heavy and I don't trust myself to flip them over. Oh, do like a whole pop? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, no. That's scary. I mean, it strips down a little bit on the, so that could be it. There might be something on the stove. That's fine. I mean, I think the apples, I, I read that you could prep the apples. You just need to make sure they're warm yeah. before they go in the oven. So, like, as long I think as it's we, fine. yeah, we can wait a little bit. Well, should we? Minutes. We want to start a box? What? All right. Okay. The, when the, the peach of the hour is when to go watermelon. We uh, got these two huge boxes. Yeah, I'm going to put these by the, the PO. Oh, to warm up. Yeah. Uh, we have not opened these yet. These are not pre screened. So this is a fully <laughs> unboxing moment, <laughs> which uh, I recognize as a risk, but I think uh, it's going to be great. How do we go? Like that? Maybe. Should I put it on the counter? All right. Oh, very heavy. This is the first time seeing them at all. Word. Okay. I carried them down from my place, and I was like, oh, I could totally do that. These are not that heavy. I can carry it. And I, like, had them close my wrist and got up the stairs with this ice board walk up and was like, oh, God. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to do? many things. To start off, gloves. Ah, they trying to tell us something? Probably. Hi, Jeeves. You look at these things. More clothes. Oh, one is a treasure. Treasure time. Yeah. That. Vanilla extract and paste. Oh, yeah. Dream. My favorite. I love vanilla. Ooh, vanilla de Madagascar. What's the difference? It's supposed to be really good. Okay. Okay. Food coloring powder. Powder? Oh. oh. <gasps> Such fun colors. Oh, my God, yes. What are you... Powder? That's fun. Use a clean dry measuring spoon. Our food color powders and are extracted in complex oh, from fruits and vegetables. So there'll be a little fragrance. Can we mix together to create your own colors? Close the lid. Oh. I mean, wow, that's cool. You know what we should do? Make a meringue rainbow. What's that? Ooh. Can't breathe. Me either. Oh my god, this is so slammed on. What? So fun. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Wait. All right, I sent the gloves for the food coloring. Aha! The oh, the that's gloves nice. are handy for everything else. The powder is water soluble. Soluble. You don't think you have any on you until you go wash your hands and end up with yellow and red splotches on them. I sent the three sizes to hopefully cover all the bases plus it would have been really weird to hop on the streams to ask about glove sizes you know so warm with your hands so little cool. hands incredible and also have little hands for my size i have very tiny hands don't we yeah yeah mine are the same as yours and i am a few we we than me. Me. these are all extracts and oils oh fun. oh my gosh oh fun yeah oh that's so cool this is so much fun oh my god when it looks like tonic it, like it's like a descriptor right there oh. raspberry emulsion emulsions emulsions what's an emulsion what's an emulsion for shake well one teaspoon of emulsion equals one teaspoon of extract more plates. Strawberry. That's awesome. So you can make strawberry brownies in Jameson. You made strawberry brownies? Yeah. For me. I did. 
These are for you. Oh, I'm so look at all these sprinkles. Wow. It's all of our kinds. This is so fun. Oh my god. Unicorn party. Oh my god, there's <laughs> Sorry, you're very nice. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Space. Oh my god. It's getting so many themed bakes. I'm <laughs> too excited. I'm inhaling. Too well, yeah. It's so damn cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is. Well, this is. Thank you. Smell Yeah, I really can. They're really yummy. Looking, smelling. Word. Um, I'm stoked. This is so, so generous of you, Wendigo. I'm so excited. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to get the KBF's a cute little display stand for that shelf on the left for all these cute knickknacks. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, girl, it's quick. There's only so much room for shit. So excited. This is so fun. And I want to put so the eyes cool. on everything. Should we put them on the tart later? Yes. Yes, we should. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, all right. I'm just gonna like slide these guys over here so that we can keep things organized. But also, thank you so much. That's, That's so nice. Cool. That's you, you didn't need to that. That was very, very, very sweet of you. So mm -hmm. floppies. No, no, that was no. The there's box. one more. Box. Another box. Oh my gosh. You know. Oh, the box we were in there. Are you saving that for bake time? Uh, well, we for a little hangout time. Waiting to see sort of how the day unfolded. We weren't sure what the downtime would be. Do you think I need to like spray this or like butter it up? I well, this could be buttery. I mean, it's more butter could have hurt. I got, I have like spray coconut oil. Now let's do that. Okay. Just to be safe. Although I have a feeling it's slick enough, it would probably not do some sticking. Okay. Mm. Wendigo with the package win, a hundred percent. Thank you, Wendigo. You're wonderful. Uh, we will open the second box when we've got a minute. I mean, that's looking lush. Yeah. Six seconds. That's the mm. history. It's good. I think we can roll it out. Once we've all arranged. Oh. Now we can arrange the apples. Arrange the apples. Should we put on our gloves? I was going to use tongs. That's probably a better thing. <laughs> you look like that. Touch the most <laughs> apples. But they are. Oh, man. Lush. Lush. All right. It, so we are putting the butt down. Butt down. Yeah. So that it's like an upside down cake. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, but I heard somewhere that you should put one good one in the middle and then like. For the nice. Okay, got it. Work like around. Okay, got it. I'm thinking like the little piece ones. Let's do them in the middle. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. We can like let them get a little, let them get to know each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets to know each other in the pot. Everybody get that reference? <laughs> yes, but why? It's uh, let's see if I can do any actual impression. Everybody gets to know each other in the pot. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> uh, it is Kevin from the office. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I've never tried to do that impression before. I will uh, not again. So, I like this. Okay. You want that happy one in the middle, though, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this happy. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Turn the apples. Oh, there we go. Now we're on. Okay. Perfect. That seems much better. Yeah. And then maybe these do kind of layer on each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should take a picture. Yes, we should. Oh, it's gorgeous. You have, you have, you have pictures. You do it, babe. Gorgeous. <laughs> Behold our apples. And now we can pour the caramel on top, which is going to be a hot thing. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Hey, but look at all that not burning.
hard caramel. I am very ready. It's gonna be a little, little sweepy. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 I mean, yum yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we roll out the thing and put it over the top and then bake it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Game on. Here. Here. Here is a bless. Oh, is it done? Up? There. Well, there's a lot of caramel. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go. Are you a professional chef? Like, how you got so many things? Yeah, we're gonna go. You all? Yeah. Are these the things that the professionals are enjoying? <laughs> Amazing. What's your favorite thing to make? Yeah. What's your What's your like go to signature? Can you grab me a yeah. rolling pin? Oh, it's not a long one. Oh, there, down there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Wendigo, I'm curious about your, your like, signature bake, or what's your, like, is, it, is your favorite thing to decorate? Is it to... Yeah, what do you like? What do you enjoy? Have you made a tart to ten? <laughs> Are we doing a good job? I think we're doing great. Thank you. I'm proud of us. So I had D and D yesterday, and I just like lucked into choosing the perfect flower for this like NPC character, and I did not remember that it was his. We think possible missing boyfriend's favorite flower. I don't like. like my character is super socially awkward, and so as a way to make friends, she has she's a druid, so she started just creating flowers and giving them to people. And uh, we attended a ball yesterday, and she was undercover, which is not great for a very uncomfortable, mm -hmm. socially awkward 14-year-old druid. Um, but she, he ended up giving this guy a flower and winning him over in, like, such a magnificent way, and I was so proud. What was the flower? It was a flower. I made, like, a little mini one he could put in his lapel. Fun. Oh, we need a mod. Hey, Jay. Hey, what's up? Could you could you hop in the? Actually, can we ban? What do you need, sweetie? Could you just uh do a little ban on Earth sixty nine? Oh, sure. Oh. Favorite dessert to make: carrot cake. It's my husband's favorite cake. Oh, oh. oh. I'm gonna go. Says we're doing great. You mentioned by a professional. Jay's mom makes a really good carrot cake. Does. Yeah. She made it once at Thanksgiving, maybe? Mm. My little the nicest. Okay, as we know about gluten free pastry, it's not like to move. It's a dangerous game. It doesn't feel. It feels good. Yay! Okay. And I don't think we need all of it. We need to tuck it in. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. We got it, guys. That King Bunny's on the case. But thank you for looking out. All right, so it, it doesn't have to go out to the edge. No, we want to tuck it in over the apples. Because it's a piece, I guess. That makes mm -hmm. sense. So like this. Do we need to like make sure there's no holes? Like, is that a little? Oh. Yeah, maybe we should just do a little, a little patchwork. Just a little, a patchwork quilt. Hmm. And then it says to make. Oh yeah, prick. Like vent it. I am fascinated. Who who got to do this? The French. The French. So clever. The French. <laughs> It's a rabbit season. Get those bots. Beth says I'm a big brownies and vanilla ice cream guy. 
Oh, speaking of, oh. I brought some French. She milk. brought ice cream. It's good. It's gonna be delicious. I love French milk. I, that's what I was like remembering. <laughs> I was hoping. All right. Okay. Look at its bottom. Oh my god, it's so cute. Wait, let me hold it and you get a picture. Okay, because make sure you look at And she goes. She goes. And 25 little And then we chip on her. That. That's the whole bake, guys. Uh, so we're going to bake it. We're going to eat it with some ice cream later. And uh, that's our day. I suppose we could do a little something with this. Let's do it. Let's see. Should we wrap baby boom? Let's see what happens. Yeah, get it. Does baby boom melt? I have no idea. Hey, does anybody know? What kind of cheese is it? It's like a... I don't know. Mm, Semi-soft cheese. It's not helpful. It's a real cheese. 100% real. What kind of cheese are you? I don't. You ever make roly polies? Mm -mm, what's that? When my mom had extra pie crust, we would just like roll up mm -hmm. my sugar. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. But I also have pumpkin pie spice. Mm. Well, let's do a baby bell. Let's do a baby bell. Um, what else can we put in the pastry, guys? <laughs> Ooh, pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice. Oh, I'm talking about when you had extra pie crust to make it a little bit more poly. Because we've got a little extra. We're trying to figure out what to put in it. I don't have any jelly. That would be a real... Good one too. Like great, like jelly. Oh, I don't know why my brain was like Jello. Yeah, I got oh, okay. Jello. You watch too much Bake Off. That's correct. <laughs> All right, here's another baby bill. How would we? Do we just like wrap it up like like a cheesy like, like a brie? Like a cheesy brie. Okay. Right. Hey. I swear I just bought pumpkin pie spice, but now I actually don't know where it is. Hmm. We play around with any of the new flavors we just got. Oh. Or we could do some of the color. Can you sing the Baby Bell song? What's the Baby Bell song? What is the Baby Bell song? I like baby. <laughs> I like bells. Is it that? <laughs> if I were a baby, I'd go wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Yeah, that if I were bells, if I were a baby, it's great. Oh. Why not? Just kind of give it a little the old. I do not know the baby bell commercial. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, really. You gotta, you gotta educate us over here in the states. We don't. Ding dong ding. I'm just gonna make some cinnamon sugar. Ellie says I'm humming it now. Too bad you can't hear it. <laughs> if only. Oops. Just a little spell. I got a little wrapped baby bell. We're on. What else can we wrap? We, okay, so we're making really polies. Yeah, I'll do at least one roly. Okay. And you just kind of... I mean, yeah. So to sugar it up. Pat it on in. <laughs> Mom, did you make these up or was this a thing? Because I feel like I have taught many people the ways of the roly poly. I have but... never heard of it before myself. But I'm oblivion. Neat roll. It's a little big, so I'm going to cut them. How cute. I'm going to do this one this way. See how that goes. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a little, almost like a little Christmas. Auntie Anne pretzel. Yeah. Huh. What else can we do? I mean, we could roll up like chocolate chips or like little, you know, we could do like a little. Oh, do I have to? Or like a. I mean, we could make a jelly with blueberries. You could do with that the leftover sugar. Hmm. Would you like some good crumbs? <laughs> <laughs> I left over. Let's see. Uh, it's a thing. Made them with grandma when I was a kid. Chris Dale. Thank you. Ah, fun. Ooh. Anybody else have ideas for what we can put in French pastry? We've got some extra. I mean, we could do some nuts. We could do like a nutty. <laughs> Come 
that chocolate? No. <laughs> Fun? Like, and pecan and cinnamon sugar and roll that up? Sure. Okay. Now I'm just going to want to see how this bakes because I don't know this pastry now. We're just doing the song hit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the song was American. We don't have Swedish Baby Bell commercials, but we did have a satellite dish channels growing up with the Baby Bell song in the U.S. and U.K. Oh. What are the lyrics? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jay knows. He knows songs. He knows songs. He knows things. I was always the kid who could not sit through commercials. So I would just like go to the bathroom or run away or just like go around or like switch the channel because I just couldn't do it. I was such I was so weird about it. Yeah, I just didn't have the patience. I don't know. I would even like actively try not to listen. Like I just I just did not want to pay attention. Huh. Yeah. It was weird. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I've got ding ding. Dreams, five months of food and fun. Thank you for the suggestion. You. You're wonderful. Okay. All right, give a little get on in there. Should it be the whole thing, or like, will that make it hard to fold? Okay. Well, we can just fold it in half, maybe. I like a little a little pastry pocket. Or we can go like this, and then they're just like this, because it's puff pastry, right? That's true. Yeah. And like. So that it puffs up on the side. It's like a tart. Oh. Oh. We're gonna see how this goes. Yeah. Well, we're experimenting. Uh oh. It all fell off. Oh no. Okay, yeah, and I'll fold this one maybe in halfsies. Good. <laughs> Okay. We're experimenting. So we need random things. Let's put them in the oven. <laughs> uh, Ellie says, I grew up with only two channels with no commercials. So it was a whole new world when we got more channels when I was about 10. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up without cable. We had full of channels, but like going over to a friend's house and seeing the like array of possibility. Yeah. Was like, oh my God. We didn't have the Disney channel maybe ever or like until I was older. And so I'd like always go over to friends' houses for like Disney Channel original. Oh my God, yes! What was your favorite Disney Channel original? Motocrossed. Excellent, excellent choice. Ugh, yeah, that was a good one. I really loved the mm. Luck of the Irish. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Big crush on that dude. Can't remember his oh, name. He's really cute, and I'm quarter Irish. It's the biggest bit of me I know. Alley Cat. What Alley Cat Strike? Uh, I don't know Alley Cat Strike, but it might be Alley Cat's might be a name of the school. Oh, that might be a thing. Yeah, they have some good ones. Uh, Get a Clue with Lindsay Lohan. Surprisingly good flick. Surprisingly great. Mm -hmm. Remember Just My Luck? Yeah. That was a good one. Uh -huh. That wasn't Disney Channel original. No, but it was that same era. Yeah. Yeah. Same vibe. <laughs> Fun. Oh, I'm trying to think. There was also Ring of Endless Light, which was my like favorite book that they then turned into a pretty mediocre. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Uh, got it on here before. Maybe I have it. It's um Madeline Langle, and mm. it's a book about a like 16 year old girl who's goes to like this island in the summer uh to be with her grandfather because he's dying so it's this really like sad like it's it's all about her grappling with death and religion and then also boys like there's like three suitors and one of them's like the kid that's like the family friend that's on the island that like they all you know he like expects to see so like, her and then there's the one that's like the kind of bad boy who sort of ghosted her after their like fling last summer and then there's her college brother's best friend who I was always like this guy but also he was in college and she was 16 and that is inappropriate in retrospect but he was like but you know clueless a marine guy I mean so. well but he was he was a, a marine biologist major and was studying dolphins and she like had this weird telepathy oh. with dolphins and it like helped her process all her feelings oh my god this book my man like rocked my world 
I thought it was incredible. I mean, here's why. To this day, I still want to swim with dolphins. That is one of my bucket list items. I have swam with dolphins. That's so fun. Was it awesome? It was fun. We did it at SeaWorld. Mm, so we were like dolphin trainers for a day. We put on the wetsuits and we learned how to do the commands. So you didn't swim like them like in the Bahamas where they like... Yeah. That's what I feel do. Like where you're like yeah. in it. I just like got a hug. But it was very fun. Yeah. My mom was there because I was 12. <laughs> Dara, good job getting your homework done. Mm-hmm. But a genie was yelling to go get her homework done. It's all done, homie. Swimming with dolphins to this day, one of my favorite memories of all time. You've done it, Dara. Oh. Uh, I really, it's it's like one of my big, like, in my little pipe dreams, when I when I dream about being an actor, mm-hmm. it's like one little fantasy I have that I get booked on some, like, Caribbean movie, like, where I have to be out in the islands and just, like, on a day off, go swim. Why not have it be part of the script? That I just get to swim with dolphins? A Hallmark movie where you are a dolphin trainer. I mean. And, like, you have your one friend dolphin, and all of your scenes are with your friend dolphin, and he gives you advice. Oh, but then I'd probably end up hating it. Because I feel like if you have to work with them, that might be a challenge. It happens to be something. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, dolphins are wonderful, and I really want to speak to them. I would also definitely try. I would be, I would be trying. You watched the movie, you know how to do it. I read the book. I imagined hard what I would be like in that situation. I guess. It led me to, like, have a huge existential crisis about religion, actually. Because I was, like, ten. Because of the dolphins. Like, I was a kid. No, the book. It's very well written. But it's also, it's all about, like... The idea of death and the idea of religion and just, like, grappling with the... Yeah, all of that sounds awful. No, but it was, like, it was so well done and just, like, hit me at a point where I was, like, already kind of, like... Thinking about all of that? Yeah, and just, like, not sure where I stood. So it gave me a lot of, like... The golf and your kiss. Uh, Dara. (laughs) Oh, Ellie wants to swim and pet sharks. No, thank you. Wow, what? Well, wow. They're dangerous. They are, but they're so cute. You didn't need to bring in her. No. I love sharks too, Ellie. I'm with you. I'm going to go live amongst the kangaroos. Well, they're not so dangerous. That's true. Get out of you. Huntman is a first time chat. Which I think might be. I don't know. My mom is here, so that is my mom. Who are you? Huntman. Yes. Huntman. Okay, there's more! Wendy, come here. And you go, what a minute. All right. Second box, which is somehow heavier than the first. I am overwhelmed and excited. Which is you not know, my state to be in. Uh, Ellie has pet a few kangaroos. What? That's so cool! In Sweden? That's amazing. Oh, we probably should have opened this one first. <laughs> no, we did not. We, and there's a J. Oh, J, you have and a another. card. All right, good. So there's J and Adam stuff in here, too. Well, that Nine. makes me feel a little bit uh, Oh, my gosh. I'm opening the card. Is that okay to do on, on camera, Wendigo? You yeah, don't have to read it out loud if it's me. It's a little strange. It's a squirrel. Look at that picture, bud. Yeah. Look at that picture while we read. It is feeling like fall. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, vanilla? That's just That's vanilla. Wow. Concentrate. Oh, okay. The oil factors of concentrate only need to use a quarter or half of what the recipe calls for, so I was told. Okay. Okay. Sorry for all the gloves. You're wonderful. Happy fall. Thank you for this. Hey, Jay, you've got present. I got present. You've got present. It's flour. Flower, yay! Of the oh gluten-free my variety. Oh my god. For peaches, Sam and Bucky. Oh. Couldn't leave out kitties. LOL, you die. There's also the most almond flour I've ever seen. But this is the exact tapioca starch that I use. Oh yay. Wow. Tiger nut flour. I don't even know what that is. Ooh. Milled organic tiger nuts. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
and amaranth flowers. What kind of flower? Amaranth. Ooh. I also never used it in. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. the cat toys are because of my daughter. I had everything laid out. In fact, she looked at everything and said she was surprised I hadn't gotten anything for the cats. I said that's a great idea. Stop by the pet store and watch the oh post my office. Gosh. Oh, Sent pictures of the toys for her approval, and of course, I've been gifting for our cats. You are so wonderful. They will love them. They are very good about toys. Really? Oh my god. <gasps> oh. This is for me? Becky's gonna lose her mind over that. That is hilarious. <laughs> That's fun. Bullet. <laughs> oh, we got toys for the day. Oh, I love it. These are so. Look at the little avocado. Oh, the avocado's so cute. In the face. Is it flip? Is it flipping face? Why do I feel like Peaches is going to absolutely go? He's going to destroy it. That's correct. Oh, yeah. It flips. It flaps. Does it flip? Oh, my God. Look at this. It's so fun. Oh, fun. This is so cute. That is very cute. It best friends forever. Oh, it's our little little mascot. This is so cute. Thank you. So cute. And bunches of flowers. Bunches of flowers. My preferred bouquet. (laughs) (laughs) Flowers. That's fun. Okay, this is for me. Hey, Jay, I came across this artist on Instagram, and oh, and one of her pieces made me think of you. I ordered a print of it and had it planned to hold on to it until Christmas or another big event, but then you got sick, and uh, that was just plain rude of, rude of COVID. <laughs> so I'm giving to you now as a big hug from all the peaches. Take care of yourself. Uh, P.S. I think my handwriting is a little bit better when I force my brain to write in print. Thank you. Uh, thank you, and Adam, for all of the laughs. From Wendigo Watermelon, a.k.a. Mandy. Mandy, you are so wonderful. This is amazing. Where is it? So nice. Thank you for buying it. Trials. Hard. It means a lot. Have an awesome day. From Eric Erica Feldman. Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's a good one. <laughs> it's. It's uh, Winnie the Pooh hugging Pikachu. Because if that doesn't get your day, if that doesn't help your day get better, that's I love it. This so look at it. He's so cute, and apparently this is for me too. Yeah. If you don't like this shirt, just let me know. I'll find another one for you. I'm sure I'll like it. Hello, son. What is that? I I already love this shirt. It just says sea salt ice cream, which is what they the eat. The ice cream of friendship. Which is when they what they eat in um, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Oh, I love this. This is a very specific reference. Oh, I feel very seen by these presents. Thank you very much. Well done, Mandy. <laughs> Job. Oh my gosh! Wow, what a haul! Oh, my cheeks hurt. I'm smiling real quick. <laughs> Isn't it fun when they send you stuff? Yeah, Adam sure is here. He can get it later. I will bring it home, I promise. All right, uh, sweetie, you want me to open it now for you? Yeah, open it now. All right. I was like, he'll open it when he streams. I was like, I don't know if he's streaming this week. He might not stream this week. All right. Decide if we like it and if he can keep it. Yeah, right. I might steal it. (laughs) (laughs) No, but okay, great. All right. All right. All right. Oh, fun. <laughs> that's a good shirt. For a lashy? Come on now. That's good. I was just telling him, I really like him in this cosplay. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. I'm like, that's oh, working for me. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give him that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Never mercy. Oh, my God. Oh, bye, Shadow King. Happy day. Bye. Sure. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good one. <laughs> Ice cream friendship. Oh. She's just over there giggling, looking at a shirt. Look at that knife. Yeah. Uh oh. Adam, you're not a mod. Hey, Jay, would you just go uh Is there another one? Is there another one? Uh, yeah, no, it's that same dude. Or not the same from before. Huntman? Uh, Huntman. Gonna do what? Mm-hmm. Weird stuff. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, he's he not. said he's, he's not. not. He's not a mod. Oh. Oh. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Cool, cool. You guys are wonderful. All right. Well, that was a blast. How close are we on our thing? We got it. Yeah. All right.
Guys, it's weird to get presents. I know. I'm, I don't really I'm to accept them. them. Precisely. Sweet, but also really confusing. We're just up here being two percent taking. I know. You want to get an apple over there? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, <laughs> way to go! You feel better because glad everyone liked their items. This was a killer no. set of presents. That Thanks. was so many wonderful things. Thank, Thank you. Very much. You are very sweet. Now I know why you kept asking. Was it you asking us in Discord if we had ever used tiger nut flour, like all these different flowers? And I was like, never heard of it. Yeah. Nope. Next KBF has to include some of these presents. Well, uh -huh. yeah, hundred percent. We're gonna we're gonna start brainstorming uh, some ways to use, especially all that color. I feel like there's definitely like, I mean, I have always wanted to try and make a fun, colorful meringue. I don't know if that's <laughs> stream conducive, but it'd be fun. Oh, it's long, right? It takes a long time to bake. Does it? Oh. Knives. Mm-hmm. Oh, not the cool way. <laughs> Hmm. I feel like I should be doing a Shakespeare monologue. Go for it. Do you remember any? No. No. Not enough of them. Mm. Not yeah. That I am mad. <laughs> one zone. I did. I uh, I did that one where that I the fast mine eyes are murderers. Then I shall like try and let them kill me if I are murderers. Like she's so mad. She's like, my eyes can't kill you. They're just eyes. Just it's a monologue. Mm, I think it's uh God, it's been a while. Mm. Longer break means more. Tea time. Yeah. I forgot what that <laughs> little emoji was or a little what did it make? Hello. But today's apple time. Apple time. Mm. I can't remember what it was. It's not it's not any of that like really big ones, mm -hmm. I think. Favorite Shakespeare play? Mmm. What's your Much Ado? Midsummer. That was what I was choosing between. Mm -hmm. Much Ado? I thought Much Ado in the Park with Hamish Linklater. Ooh, okay. Did you see That'll that production? Mm -mm. And Lily Robb. Mm. It was just like particularly great. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Much Ado is pretty awesome. I think I like Midsummer because I was in it as a kid. Mm. And it was my first foray into Shakespeare. And I had sure. so much fun with it. It played Queen Titania. Mm. And I was like... I was snug the joiner. Cute. I had... I, I did it again in um middle school. And I had a kind of crazy teacher. Like, she was, she was going through it. She ended up living in the school at one point. She got evicted. It was a whole thing. She had me hold the mirror while she brushed her teeth. She was going through a lot. Um, okay. But she rewrote some Shakespeare. And made it so that I had a bigger part. I was one of the lead fairies, but like became like kind of puckish. It sounds like it was it was a little bit uh um, um no. You know the movie Get Over <laughs> Gala Apples, by the way. Get over it? Oh yeah. I was my as soon as you said rewrote Shakespeare, I was just mm -hmm. like like Martin Short. Martin Short. I forgot that was Martin Short. How could you? I don't know. I just like had not made that connection. Mm, Taming of the Shrew. Mm. Now that one does not, like, I can't read it anymore or watch it anymore. It makes me so mad. Yeah. Although I do love 10 Things I Hate About You. Although I don't know that I would anymore. I haven't watched it in a long time. I feel like I watched it recently. Yeah. It holds up, but it's still just like... The it, concept is like, ugh. Yeah. But they're like aware. Yeah, I think they did a good job of like... Being like, this sucks, guys. Yeah. Well, it's Heath Ledger. Yeah. Can't go wrong. I know. I mean. What a handsome boy. R.I.P. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dre says, I leaned to the histories and tragedies, but the first play I saw was Saving of the Shrew. So the histories, I think, have to be done so well, not to be so, like, boring, heavy, and dry. Boring. No. Yeah. <laughs> My homeschool class studied Taming of the Shrew specifically... Because they wanted women to learn to submit to their husbands. Oh, don't know. What? Oh, that's so upsetting. I know. I have so many questions about that sentence. My homeschool class. Your siblings? Or did you go to, like, one of those schools? For, like... Yeah, homeschool implies doing... But I think sometimes, like, it's part of a program and you, like, meet with them. 
Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I for a little while followed these right. people on YouTube that homeschool their children, and then I was just like, this seems weird. So mm. I stopped. Yeah. And then I got really into the whole, like, family bloggers are really toxic. And It was a homeschool co-op. Oh, got it. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. Okay. Fascinating. That's really upsetting. Well... I'm glad you uh, you, grew up and got out of there. Yeah, please don't continue to think that. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm. Mm, Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I feel like it needs more time. It probably does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much more time, but more. I mean, it was supposed to be 25 to 30 minutes, so we could just give it five more and see where it's at. Anyway, we'll see. Would you like to? Yeah, I can make some. (laughs) Fettuccine. Oh my gosh. Bet says we crowd watched Dara's homeschool group graduation and it was the most cringy thing ever. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> we don't talk, we don't talk about, about, about it. Ooh. That's a lot. Wow. That's a lot. Where are you now, Dara? You're yeah, you college. Right? college? That's what I think. I thought. There's no home college, right? <laughs> yes. You are away from home college. My parents crushed it, though. They were amazing. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you had good parents. Oh. You see that? Wait. Oh, no. Ugh. What are you looking for? I'm going to make tea. You want some tea? I'd love some tea. I made different choices. Pomegranate, rooibos. Mm-hmm. I could use some caffeine. Maybe I'm going to do a little Lady Grey. Yeah. That sounds great. Okay. Unless you want to save it, and I will do any of the other things, because yep. all of this sound good to me. <laughs> yep, I'm in college now. It's way better than homeschool. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah, I would have been. Yeah. I, I, so I'm working with students mostly in middle school, high school, and a lot of them are neurodivergent in some form or another. And so traditional schooling is just really hard for them. And they, like, struggle and need extra support, which is why I'm there. But so much of the time, I'm like, you're going to be, you're going to thrive in college because it's going to be stuff you're interested in. It's going to be yeah. on your own. Like, you're you're scheduling it yourself. You, you're, like, in charge of your time. You can, like, make it so you can sleep in. Do and... you think hmm. that adding vanilla bean paste would make it, like, a London Fog Latte? Ooh. Let's try. Okay. I'm down. With just a touch. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. A touch more. Go. <laughs> Dara says exactly. Yeah, basically everything about college is better than middle school, high school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's one of those things where I feel like yeah. what we do right about college is that was not closed all the way. Okay. My mom is still here to be like, that sounds correct. Forget her, like. Um, I just still lost my train of thought. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Oh, what we're doing right about college is that, like, everything we're doing wrong about, like, with uh, high school and middle school with kids. Like, just, we should oh, not be keep. No, because they're not made for, one, getting up early. No. Like, that's, it's just not helpful. My health teacher in college was just like, yeah, you guys shouldn't be awake yet. No, just so you know, you shouldn't be awake yet. Oh, oh, I see. Remember that sound? This has been a while since we did actual. I know. This has been so hot. That's true. (laughs) Except laundry. Well, yeah. Dara likes doing laundry because it makes you feel productive. Yeah. That I had. I had a really funny day on Wednesday. So I had this really obnoxious audition come in. On Tuesday afternoon uh-huh. at like 4.30. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's worse. So the audition comes in at 4.30 on Tuesday. And like seven times throughout the breakdown, it was like, get it to us 11 a.m. tomorrow or sooner, all caps. So or sooner than 11, 11 a.m. the next day. And then the audition was, we want a soccer player, which let's play soccer. We want you, you to. kind of like backup. <laughs> Basically backup. But the what they wanted was for you to dribble while looking at your phone and then submit it like and and film it in landscape so like one i don't have the depth of field in my apartment so i have to do it outside two i didn't own a soccer ball 
true. So I was like, okay, my choices here are decline the audition and explain, or get up early on Wednesday and go to Target on 181st and buy a soccer ball. And then as I was doing my laundry in the like little courtyard between the buildings, I set up my tripod. To, like I had a prop phone in my hand and dribbled. And the worst part is I was doing my laundry because I was like, okay, I'll double dip. I'll just like, I'll do yeah. my laundry and then while it's in there, I'll do the thing. And I didn't realize until I was ready to go that all of my sports bras were in the laundry. They were already wet and in there. So I was like, well, okay. So I had my little bralette on. Boots were like, fum, 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 like just obscene. It was really embarrassing. And I had to submit it. Because I'd put in so much work to make it happen. Okay, I just want to see what it looks like. This stuff isn't brown quite. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. But yeah, I like it because it's a little more. I think so too. She's like, it'll be me for you guys. It's going to be done. Especially that little corner guy. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think? Two more minutes? Yeah. You want to look at it? Fun. Yeah. All right. The one little corner guy didn't survive. I think that's no. the word. And in the like puff pastriness, they're not, it's not puffy. It's, like it's more like a pie crust. It's, yeah. But the cheese the is. The baby filled cheese melted, which I guess I make sense. <laughs> it's cheese. It's real cheese. It told us so a bunch of times. It's true. Uh, uh, Dara says I can listen to fix it while doing laundry because it's a mindless productive activity. Yeah. You tell him. Doing laundry is oh. wild. That's really funny. Oh my god. We're hot. What about you? Yeah. You good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was excited. I mean, I'm also excited to try these roly polies. Mm-hmm. That's right. This is so nice. Oh yeah, that's very hot. It's, it's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot. It's too hot. Do we have chairs like old days? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. Chairs. Chairs. All right. I don't even know what's on there. Just the hits on there. We did it! Fit. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Phew. Oh. Old school tea time. With chairs. Your bucket list. Like, I want to swim with dolphins. What are some of the things that you'd, like, love to do in a dream world? Jerry, listening? I would like to one take a train across the country. Oh, number two. Okay. I would like to get one of those really fancy, like Orient Express train car rooms where they like serve you tea oh, and a bed. Yeah. Like you feel like you could be in an Ad- Agatha Christie novel. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that could use maybe another minute. Yeah, for sure. We'll just keep an eye on it from down here. It is bubbly. I mean, but. Probably fine. I just like undercooked gluten free yeah. pasties, not pa- pasty. Full pasty. And undercooked pasty. Mm hmm. All right. Let's try this. Oh. It's very flaky. I'll give it that. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty good. I like a roly poly. What's that, Gail? Gluten free. Mmm. Ellie says you should travel through Scandinavia. You'd love it. Ooh, okay. I have watched mm. many videos of sleep- of overnight trains you can take in Europe. <laughs> really? <laughs> That. I have listened to a couple sleep stories that are about like the train you take and mm. like, overnight trains. And it's very soothing. It's nice. It's so it never fun. occurred to me to want to do that, but it sounds so, nice. When I was younger, mm-hmm. we took an overnight train to Disney World. Oh, okay. I get it. And I think I really romanticized it mm-hmm. in a way that I'm like not gonna like it. Oh no. Should we cut into the cheese one? Mm-hmm. It's cheese. It's cheese. It looks fun. It's cheese. It's got the juice. God, it's cute. It's just cute. And the little bite sounds. Mm-hmm. It's nice. 
We used to ride the train in Japan just for train rides. Didn't even go anywhere. Fascinating. Oh, the overnight trains in Japan look very cool. Mm. There's also just like European train travel in general because the size of Europe versus the size of America. Like mm. me taking a train from like New York to Seattle or something would be like taking a train from like Paris to Moscow or like yeah. beyond. Oh my God. This is very good. This is my preferred way to eat the baby bell. <laughs> yeah. That's not pleasant. Yeah. That's fucking better. It's better. There we go. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks happy. Okay. Well, that's got to stop boiling, probably. Yeah. So. Let that stand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And have our little snack. I'm glad we did this. This is good. Good. Mm. Mm. There was a train from London to Edinburgh. That was fun. <laughs> There's also a very fancy train in Scotland. Mm. And it's like a cruise. Like, the train is the event. Oh. So it's a three-day train travel through Scotland. Mm. And each day the train stops. And you, like, go off and wander the village. Okay. Then you get back on the train for dinner. Huh. I know. It's my dream. I mean, that sounds great. I've always wanted to go to Scotland. We should go. Yeah. Let's do it. Jerry really wants to go to the French next year. I mean, yeah. It's If if I could, like, pick a couple places, like, Scotland, I'd love to go to Ireland, mm-hmm. go to Germany, London. But, like, those are kind of my big, big hitters. <laughs> Allie, you could totally oh. That would be so fun. Oh, someone to get rid of that one. Honey. Who's there? Tinky? Thanks, babe. Uh, Z- the heart. Zastion followed us. Hello, Zastion. Zastion. How do you spell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. We're happy to have you. Mm-hmm. We would have so much fun. Yes, thank I'll you, babe. Really love the band I mean... Sweden, Netherlands, yes, Finland, all of that. That would be incredible. I've uh, it's it feels like a paradise a little bit in my like mm-hmm. my you my understanding of it. I feel like I I also like a really cool place. So in like two thousand seven or so, mm-hmm. and I know they probably still do this, but this was the only year that I did this. Mm-hmm. I was watching the Oscars and all of the nominees for best short mm-hmm. animated and. Maybe the only ones that want, I don't know, but the nominees for Best Short, they would give you, you could buy them for free, or like for a dollar, on iTunes that day, like if you were watching the Oscars, so I bought the two that won, the Best Animated Short and Best um, Short Film, Mm -hmm. and I just had them on my computer forever, and so like that, if like my phone died on a plane or something, like that's what I would watch, Okay. and the Best Animated Short was called The Danish Poet, Mm -hmm. and it was just this very nice cartoon narrated narrated by this Danish woman about a poet who just like loved this girl and he had to go find her mm. and I love it so much it's soothing it is yeah I would like listen to it to fall asleep I have all of Taskmaster because <laughs> my friend Chris found all of it and like put it on a USB for me and gave it to me that's what's on my computer what is Taskmaster oh my god Kimberly it's such a good show it's really stupid all right so I may have told you about it before the, uh, oh, the oven light is on. Oh, hold on. I have, like, some things there. Um, the, it's a British panel show. Mm-hmm. They, uh, have this one guy that's, like, a comedian. That's much is a funny show. Right, Ellie? It's so good. Yes, but, um, so it's a, like, he, ugh, this main guy, uh, and his assistant set tasks, and the tasks are, like, eat as much watermelon as you can in one minute. But, like, that's the whole task, and you don't know any other context. So, like, this is in the pilot episode of the first season. So then there's uh, five or six, I don't remember, five, I think, comedians mm-hmm. uh, that then, like, by themselves read the task, and they compete, basically, for who does it best. So in this case, would be most watermelon eaten. But they walk in, and it's just a big watermelon on a table. And so, like, you know, one of the people goes, oh, I need a knife. And he goes and gets a knife and cuts into it and sits there with, you know, a spoon and spoons melanin and then like just does it and it's like why do you that and then another person walks in grabs the thing and goes smashes it yeah i'm just like i don't like an animal and it's so 
goofy and funny and I I don't think I've ever laughed so hard as watching this silly silly show it is one of my biggest like need stress relief like mm-hmm. need to laugh about a stupid thing that show every time huh. oh yeah hmm. well, okay. I'm not gonna be here for a while one is a good show yeah, no Q1 candy Q QI maybe QI Q1 mm-hmm. I don't know unless did you see they came out the new season of the mole no. I Remember the mole? Oh, yeah. Anderson Cooper hosted it. Did you know that? Huh. I did not know that until no. it was re-released on Netflix. And oh, I was like, this was hosted by Anderson Cooper? But it was. And now they just made a new one. How is this? Oh, okay. little concoction. Okay. I do see layers. Mm-hmm. Huh. Good. Pastry. Hmm. Hi, Ash. Sorry, I missed some of the stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I went away. What about... Me and my sister are watching The Wedding Singer. Oh, I love that movie. It's such a good movie. One of my favorite... Oh, you're familiar uh, with the musical. I was just about to say, one of my favorite audition songs has come out of the dumb Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh. It's a British cooking show. There's one where they steal food from people's freezers and serve it back to them in Michelin restaurants. <laughs> what? I was like, ping pong chef. QI. <laughs> then Queer Eye. Greg Davies used to be a teacher. You should both listen to all his stories, especially on the Graham Norton show. Oh, man. I would love that. Greg Davies is the taskmaster. Oh, main guy. And he's hilarious. He's very good. And then his assistant, Alex, is actually, like, the brains behind the entire operation. Like, the whole show, it was his, he devised the entire thing, and he sets the tasks. But then, like, Greg Davies is this, like, tall, you know, personality that, like, it's it's very entertaining. I really enjoy it. <laughs> oh, Ash. It's so good. Um... It's called Come Out of the Dumpster, and it's literally just this little, like, cute coat thing song. It's so cute. Like, hey, bud, I'm a dumpster. Did you see that show? Mm-hmm. It's, I saw it. It's yeah. wonderful. Okay. I love the Graham Norton show. In the U.S., but, yeah. Oh, Graham Norton show's excellent. I know. Yeah. I feel like that's what James Corden's trying to be sometimes. Yeah. But... Not quite getting it. It's not quite as fun. I have the charm. Yeah. Something about it. It's just not as sparkly. Or it's just like the U.S., so it's just a little yeah. too manufactured. Like, everyone on that show is like, I tell this story. Yeah. On the Graham Norton show, they're like, this one? Good it. And then yeah. I'm like, excuse me? Oh. Yeah, let's do a lot of things better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sean Evans. Who's Sean Evans? Who's Sean Evans? I don't know that who that is. I'll look it up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's the key, Ellie. Making the guests feel relaxed and able to just hang. Oh, oh it's like some hot ones. Mandy says it's a comedy quiz show. Oh, okay. What do I know? Sean Evans is a hot ones host. I stopped reading after a hot one. My brain went, oh, the hot one. He's the hot one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rana. Well, it says Rana Butternick along the edges to lose. Yeah. It's pretty loose. I mean, it looks very juicy. It does. To me. I don't know if it's supposed to be. If it's supposed to, like, set. Well, it says, cool for 30 minutes. <laughs> so we have to see that talk. Yeah. I'm glad you made it. So I'm staring at it. Mm-hmm. To invert top of the serving plate, grasp the pan and plate tightly together as a unit. I mean, yeah, it's got to be the flip, right? Mm-hmm. We can do it. We can do it with that. Okay. Yeah. We fine. <laughs> we'll be right. I know, I just got very sleepy. I'm just like, mm, what should we do? Why don't we let this cool down, everyone? Well, I'll sing my audition cut of Come Out of a Dumpster. I actually don't know if I remember it. It's been so long since I've auditioned. Let's see. Don't leave me standing here. I'm out of the dumpster. The coast is clear. The cop cars are here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's a ding. Ding, ding. Miguel de Boca. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Kitchen at Best Friends, Steven. Shut up. Bet. But yes, we do. I'm sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 
I mean, Darren reminded me of someone I knew the other day. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Did meet him at a wedding. Both of us. Yeah. Um, who is your favorite child? Oh, what's, what's your, your favorite, favorite childhood kids game to play back then in general? Favorite kids game. That's interesting. Princess. Oh, obviously. 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 I used to like the card game My Ship Sails. I don't know that one. But it's a six-person game. Like, you cannot play with fewer than six. And so my entire family had to be on board. So I was like, hey, you want to play a game? Like, to everyone in the family. And they all had to get on board. And if they didn't want to play, it was like, you ruined the game. The only, the only way to play is if everyone plays. I was such an obnoxious little child. I, as a child, liked to play poker. Awesome. With chips and nets. We had Tripoli? Oh, you play Tripoli? Not us. Poker. Poker with like a couple other games attached. Yeah, it was pretty fun. And Clue. I loved Clue. Oh, yeah. I liked Clue a lot. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also played Crack, Crack the Case, which is based on a bunch of murder stories with like a riddle and you have to like solve it. And it's like you can ask like yes and no questions basically, but like they were gruesome. And my niece and nephew got into them. The last, like, year. And so they would play them all the time. And I'm sitting there with, like, a seven-year-old on my arm talking about how this guy, like, his wife had an affair. And so he strangled her to death. And you're like, uh-oh. What are we stoking? Oh, Ash, I love the wedding singer in Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Dates is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Since my mom got dementia, I cannot watch that. Oh, probably but, not. No, it used to be my absolute favorite. And then I turned it on probably like seven years ago now, like I'm just like not thinking and then went, oh no, oh no, it oh. broke me. Ugh, what a bummer. But it's an excellent movie. I love 50 First Dates. When that first came out, I really was into it. It's actually a fun fact, one of the few movies I own. Really? It was a gift from my friend Brandon, who I made a movie with in high school. <laughs> That unfortunately glorified suicide, so we couldn't show it at the assembly. The school, the school, no, not, I know it was really bad. The school commissioned uh, him to make the movie, and he asked me to direct and be in it. Uh, and I'd never directed anything before because you were in high school. I was fifteen, uh, and he he like directed the parts that I was in. We like kind of traded off, and we would like get up at like four in the morning before school and go to the rec center where he worked as a lifeguard and like film these things. And it was, like, kind of a love story, but both of the main characters ended up, like, dying together in the pool at the end. And, like, it was supposed to be the story about me and the friend, like, being sad over them. And it was supposed to, like, be about how, like, I should have seen the signs or something. But, like, apparently he showed it to the principal. And the principal's like, this glorifies suicide. This is, this is romanticizing the bad thing that we want to encourage people not to do. And so we had to scrap it. It was called The Last Breath. It was quite an experience. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. What kind of school did you go to where they commissioned that with a 15-year-old director? Uh, I went to a high school that had a very robust theater and film program. And there was like a club. And basically, I think in retrospect, I just had a couple of teachers that were a little bit maverick and were just basically like, fighting for us to get the chance to have artistic creative, you know, uh -huh. like, you know, you know, like, and it turned into a little bit of like tit for tat. Like we suddenly had to do music man and that kind of like, as like a response to doing Pippin. It was Pippin. I mean, I know. It's Pippin. It's Pippin. It's Pippin, which was a lot for, I think, high school. So like stuff like that, where, where I think, and they just, I think the idea behind it was uh, this club was in charge of making all the media for the assemblies. And so it was supposed to be a suicide prevention assembly. And we worked so hard on it for like six months. It was this like, it was probably a 30, 40 minute film. I can also picture that being the tape of 15 year olds, like accidentally. Accidentally romanticizing, romanticizing it. it. Yeah. Because like, you're 15, you don't get it as much yet. <laughs> that says, I mean, I know Highlands Ranch is wild, but wow. Yeah, our, our, well, and, and the kid, you know, work, working on it, I think there were a few of us that maybe also romanticized suicide. You know, like, it was, yeah. it was a little bit like we weren't all mentally healthy. Yeah, the artsy kids. The artsy kids. Uh, so, like, it was definitely, it's it's a healing process for us, I think. Um, but, yeah, it was we had, like, 300 kids in my graduating class. So, like, oh, yeah. and we were, we were growing. We had, so my sister's 
class who was, she was three years older than me, still is with that as well. Um, but she was the first class of this high school. So that was the other thing that was new. So like my freshman year was the first time the high school was a full, like complete high school. And so like, it was also Jess then had a really interesting high school experience because she got to be the that big, no, well, the, the top class for every year. So she like got to be the lead in all the things. And she was the varsity soccer player for all four years. Like, cool. Right. So like, she had a very interesting high school experience and then I came along and like expected it to be the same or like thought it would be and everyone referred to me as little Nicholas because no way they knew her she was very famous and she was the star in all the things and I came along and was like I'm just here to have fun like I'm getting sportsmanship awards I'm not even kidding I got I got the golden eagle award playing soccer which is basically the they described it as like you know embodies the uh I don't know tenants of the like it, it, it makes everybody's spirits go up. Like it was the team spirit award, and I got it two years in a row. And Most congeniality, like, yeah, like, basically. Not oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't get into Pippin. That was my freshman year. I know. I was devastated. Who did? I mean, yes. Alex Trow, who was uh, Jess's best friend. She played the part that I went out for, and she was a senior, and she was excellent. So like, she went on to. Who was Jess? Jess was the girl. No, no she was. Uh, she was just a course member. Yeah, she was Philia in Forum the year before. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Also, totally inappropriate for school. <laughs> Let me just like, oh, wait, you actually went there? My first time to my house went there. I just pulled it from memory. Wait, what? Hmm? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about, but. No. I think we just pretended to know what Highlands Ranch was. Oh, no, I'm from Highlands Ranch. I oh. thought he was referencing my hometown. Oh. Oh, well, okay. So sorry for that. I grew up in Highlands Ranch. Highlands Ranch High School is where my brother went. We went to Mountain Vista, which was the brand new high school that like we, from a district standpoint, suddenly were in that district. Oh. Um, and so, oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Highlands Ranch High School is the, a different iteration, but we were always, we were always competing with them because we were like the new kids on the block, basically. It was a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, Fett, I thought you knew I went there. That's so funny. Anyway, high school. What a weird time. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. I wish we did Pippin. They would have messed it up. I mean, ARCS was actually really good. Granted, I was like 14 and idolized everyone in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was pretty excellent. Our our lead guy uh, was Colin Lydon, who uh, ended up going to CAF 21, Tish. And he's the one that like helped. It. Like he let me stay in his dorm room. I came out for my audition because I threw myself out here. So mm -hmm. I had no, I mean, I was yeah. like, it was my Cold Stone money. I was like, I'm coming out for audition. He was so nice about it. Um, And he, yeah, I I think he might be in the city now or in LA. He's like still doing the acting thing. He's great. He's really very talented. Really, really good. Um, It was, it was actually a pretty strong show in retrospect. Yeah. Uh, Hi, back from America. Hey, Gary. We're taking a tea break. Yeah, because our delightful pie needs to set. It needs a little bit of a yeah. a cohesion. So I have a feeling if we dumped it right now, it would go. So I watched a bunch of TikToks of TikToks to have making yesterday. Okay. To see what we needed to know. And someone, in their wisdom, you just built. Yeah. Uh, the tea bag. Kind of. Okay. Here, just take it out. Wow, that's a great idea. Um, someone in their infinite wisdom decided to flip it out onto a cooling rack instead of a plate. Uh, uh -huh. So it just sloshed all yeah, over. That's not a great idea. So I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Gotta go do the household ready for the week. Hope everyone enjoys their gifts. We so enjoy our gifts. Thank you Mandy, so much. you're wonderful. Enjoy your day. Thank, Thank you. Nice. Very, very generous. We appreciate you a lot. And also, the vanilla, vanilla meat paste in the thing. Killer. Killer. Yum, mm -hmm. yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yummy. Barbara, what are you drinking for tea? What kind of tea do you have? Yeah. I'm I was just talking to Adam about when we need when we should go visit his parents. We need to figure it out and figure yeah. out with the kitties. Mm. What mm. are you doing for Thanksgiving? Undecided. Originally I was gonna go back to Colorado and be with my dad. Um I had promised him last year because he had he had a sad alone Thanksgiving oh, last yeah. year, and I was like, never again. Um, but 
with going out there all the time this summer and then, you know, doing all the uh, extra stuff. And then because Jess is pregnant and mm-hmm. due mm-hmm. on the 1st of January, which is Adam's birthday, <laughs> uh-huh. um, I might be, I think, trying to go out there for what we're calling 2020 baby or 2022 baby watch. Um, so to Christmas and stay. Basically. Yeah. But like, we're not, I'm, I talked to her last night and she doesn't need me there for like the whole time. Like, you know, um, he might have gone to Mountain Vista. All I know is he lived in Heinz Ranch. He probably did go to Vista. Uh, also, Fett, how old and was he a friend of mine? Because that would be hilarious. Um, but the, uh, it, yeah, the the bottom line is we're, I'm going to try to go out there and I'm going to try to go out again when the baby is born and like a little mm-hmm. older. So like a couple of visits there. And since my dad now can travel, because my dad got a caretaker from my mom, which is a huge deal. And it's really exciting. And he just got back from Tulsa last night for a couple of days to be visiting my brother and his family. Uh, so he might come out here at some point. Uh, we're trying to fun. figure out when and what that'll look like. But uh, I graduated in 2011. Okay, so that is very possible. He went to Vista and actually very likely. And then I graduated in 08. So I may have just been a little too old. <laughs> but that's hilarious. Right? I did it right. Oh, wait. Oh, oh 11. Yeah, 11 later. Yeah. Well, you so would have been a uh, senior when he was a freshman. Senior and freshman. Yeah. Uh, sophomore? Senior and freshman, right? Uh, how do numbers work? Because I graduated college in 2011, mm-hmm. and my first year of college ended in 2008, so mm-hmm. I graduated high school in 2007. Makes sense. Okay. And that's how old I am. Oh. Just wondering what your favorite movie or movies are. Hmm. Do you? I sometimes pick a favorite movie, and then that's my favorite movie for the rest of my life. Do you do that? Wait, what? Like, I just thought of, like, my two favorite movies, and I'm like, what? Like, Those have just been my has favorite. My favorite has just been my answer since I was 15. Oh, and okay. one probably also since, like, high school. Wow. And I've just never updated the answer. Let's update the answer. Okay, first, what's the original answer? A Knight's Tale and Chasing Liberty. Excellent. <laughs> what a choice. Okay, why not? Let's update it. What are you thinking? I don't like that one. Great. That counts. Yeah, I I don't think I feel like a new movie. That's my favorite. And I don't know. Well, because I think a lot of what goes into favorite is like the nostalgia factor. Yeah. And so there's so much like it makes sense that it would be your formative years where you develop your favorite movie. Like I watched Chasing Liberty after every breakup. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think. I mean, like I loved movies that like rocked my world. Moulin Rouge rocked my world. Maybe you can update your choice if it says your mom. Else would my favorite movie be? Moulin Rouge clearly is my favorite movie. I love that movie. I was just about to bring it up. It's so good. I do like Clue. Oh, no. Jenny and I just recently rewatched it. Not as big of a fan as we once were. What? Why? I don't remember. We were just like... Jenny, I can't yourself. He's overrated. No. We were just like, uh, What? Really thought we were gonna enjoy the heck out of it. We did not have a good time. No, really? I don't know why. Oh, it's funny been... about the flames on the face thing. What's actually the joke? It's just that she does it in a funny voice. It's that she does it in a funny voice, and also she's Madeline Kahn. She's a goddess. I understand that, but what's actually happening to make that funny? It. Well, she can't. She's trying to. Not not kind. She's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't. But what do you guys eat? We made little um, big little with our extra bits. Can I have a bit of mom? Yes. Can't pull on that. You the treat. Oh. <laughs> it's just like cinnamon sugar and pecan. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Moulin Rouge, absolutely. That's what I said earlier. That's oh, what yeah. I was like formative. Like that yeah. one like rocked my world. And that so like that one, I loved Clue. I still love Clue. I think it probably holds up for me. But I also am a very much like I didn't really watch it as a kid. So like oh, I watched see. it like for the first time and I was like, what is this? I loved Clue. I loved Airplane with an Oh, I loved Airplane. I loved, oh man, like Young Frankenstein mm. was one of my favorites. I showed that to Adam and he fell asleep and I was <laughs> devastated. What was it? Yeah, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. It was early well, after dating. watched it with a boyfriend in high school, and we both fell asleep. Oh. And then I watched the movie. Yeah, and then I saw the musical. I know this. 
fun. I think it's wonderful. It's, it's like, it's weird. It's a very weird niche humor. So like, I feel like it's the kind of thing and it does, it's slow. I agree with my mother. I think you need favorites in several categories. Why pick just one? Yeah, fair enough. All right. Legally Blonde might be my favorite, like, mm. like kind of like, you know, that era of like, to come out of that. Yeah. I love Legally Blonde. I also love Legally Blonde. I also love Clueless. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do love oh, Paul Rudd. Love Paul Rudd in that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Jay, how would you answer this question? What's your What's, what's your favorite, favorite movie? Uh, I have I have several, but in different categories. Yeah, yeah that's what we were talking about. Oh, excellent. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, Matilda was my favorite movie for a oh, long time, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, High Fidelity is one of my favorite uh, yeah. movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's very you. Um, yeah. I also really uh, uh, spirited in a way. <laughs> Gary, that's a great point. Yeah. Did you did you in the airplane or did you love the the older people around you loved that you loved were laughing and smiling and happy? You know what? And yeah, it might just be that my dad loved airplanes so much. It was just us kids watching it. <laughs> my dad could not sit through a movie. He can now, but as a kid, he would never sit and watch a movie. My my mom would occasionally participate, but most of the time she would like do other things. Oh, Harry at the spy. Your big Harry at the spy. Oh thing. yeah. And it ate tomato and mayonnaise sandwiches and it is why like one of my biggest fears is like people like reading my things I've said about them or like knowing because like her best friend finds her journal and even though like it's her best friend she still like said some not stuff nice stuff about her best friend then he finds out so that's like that's pretty devastating one of my biggest anxieties Ash says, people have you ever heard of a movie called my boyfriend's back if not I recommend you watch it it's very good also a movie called drop dead Fred, oh, I thought you were saying Drop oh. Dead Gorgeous, which is one of my favorites. No, oh, I love Drop, Drop Dead, Dead Fred. Fred. You do? Yes. Okay, tell me about Drop Dead Fred. Oh, it's about, um, it's about this woman who had an imaginary friend as a child, mm -hmm. and he, like, got into all sorts of nonsense. Sure. And then I think she's getting divorced, and Fred decides he needs her again, <gasps> and then he's, like, wreaking havoc in her adult life. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's Wow. Really weird, that but my sister weird. and I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now and then. All right, Overworked, we have the same list. Yeah, that's a good movie. The original Pink Panther movies are part of the bedrock of my humor. Mm. It's way about, like, like Mel Brooks. A lot of Mel Brooks. My dad is a big Mel Brooks stuff. person, and my mom is not. Oh, okay. And so it was a point of contention. Rare. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I loved um, Monty Python. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Monty Python, Holy Grail was a staple in our mm -hmm. household. Did you have any movies, while well, you're watching, I've told this story many times, uh, that is like, my mom has a bunch of favorite movies okay. that she would try and show me, but there were a few of them that she'd put them on and realize they were inappropriate and turn them on. And so it took me like a few viewings to be able to get through all of Dirty Dancing, and then it took me a few viewings to get through all of, to be allowed to finish watching Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A ding ding. Oh, hello, ladies. One question for you. Do you do charity for, like, wigs for kids? Nope. No. I should. Well, I mean, what should I have? I've charity. donated my hair twice. I guess I have donated my hair, too, I, a long time ago. But, yeah, I, I dyed my hair for a while, so now I guess I could again. Yeah. Now that it's not done. So the Pantene program will accept dyed hair. Oh, really? Yeah. I know that. Okay. But you need more hair. Oh. I have two little It's like a foot instead of eight inches. Oh, well, that's a lot. Yeah, I did it. A lot of hair. Oh, well, Dreams Will Come is a beautiful. I saw that in college. I don't know what that is. It's Robin Williams. Uh, and uh, one of his. Oh, and Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> right away, it's Saturday. She was like, oh, next year. Next year. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, no, What Dreams May Come is one of the coolest explorations of like religion, spirit, spirituality, afterlife that I've seen ever. Oh, Basically, so. Robin Williams loses his wife and goes like. On, I'm getting chills talking about it. It's a beautiful film. Uh, he goes on a journey to try to find her. And it's this very, like... No, it's not scary. It is just... It's devastating and beautiful and also really, like, very imaginative. Huh. And a very, like, cool... Just from, like, a... Okay, so for me, spirituality, religion, all of those things, I am very intellectual about it. Mm -hmm. I have a very, like, I, I, I struggle with a, 
Like, I can't just say, I believe this thing because I believe it because I have faith. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work for me. So I like to just kind of, like, understand why and where and what the, like, what the... Where did it all come from and why do we think this and, yeah. Right. And so this, I feel like What Dreams May Come is a really cool, like, video essay on the idea of afterlife and, 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 like, love persevering. Like, it's really interesting. Anyway, I haven't seen it in a while. I saw it in college in a film class specifically. It was, like, about psychology and film. Um, and it was, it rocked my world. It's amazing. Good, huh. good pull. Field of Dreams. Also a great movie. Oh, yeah. How old were you? You did get to watch Jerry Dancing. I don't remember. I feel like that, maybe that one wasn't one. I remember, like, one of the days where my dad was on a business trip, and so mm-hmm. we all sat in my mom's bed and watched Jerry Dancing. How old mm-hmm. My mom always would turn movies off and deem them inappropriate, and then we would... Then I had to wait to watch them. My dad, however, fully let me watch Pulp Fiction with him when I was 12. Nice. So. Oh, see, my mom just never really, like, restricted us. And, like, I would, she barely did. Mine, too. Yeah. But every once in a while, she go, oh, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. My mom walked downstairs. I was, like, probably, like, 19. Like, I was old enough. It was fine. Uh-huh. But she walked downstairs during the sex scene in Brokeback Mountain. And she was just like, what are you? I was watching a movie in theaters. Oh, fun. Yeah. Well, I watched it by myself in my basement, and then my mom walked down and was like, many, too many times, because, like, I was that kid that was just, like, liked hanging out with my parents, watched things that I shouldn't have with my parents. parents. Like, yeah. Once I was, like, of an age where, like, they didn't really need to, like, restrict what I was watching. Yeah. But, like, we went and saw Garden State together. Oh. Yeah. Which has some sex scenes. It had some sex scenes. And I vividly remember deciding to rent the 40-year-old version. (laughs) With my mom and dad on a Friday night. It's a funny movie. It was very yeah. funny. And <laughs> dichotomy, Jake can attest this now because I feel like it is still the way where like everyone in the room is laughing but my mom. <laughs> and then she'll catch herself. That much. Or, yeah. But I remember, and I'm pretty sure that during that movie, I was just like, close your eyes. Huh? Your mom just said, I would just tell you to close your oh, eyes. Oh, yeah. She did that a lot. Yes. Um, oh man. Yeah, but I remember being like in high school watching the forty-year-old version with my parents. Nice. That's hilarious. And I'm pretty sure I was just like, I can't deal with this, and I just like fell asleep. <laughs> but it's my flight. I'm like, oh, 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 Tales from the Crypt. Oh. oh yeah. Were you scared of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, because I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. The peanut, peanut butter, butter solution. solution. What was no. the peanut butter problem? This is the real. I can't really ask him the very question. Was it a jelly problem and a peanut butter solution? Oh, that's hilarious. Thank you. That. Let's write it. Gosh, I've seen the parents that are not the best. When I was 10, I knew Dirty Dancing by heart. Oh, I nice. Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Another movie I watched with my mom. Um, Notting Hill. Oh, family favorite. Nice. Um, yeah. Mystic Pizza. Oh, I've mm-hmm. never seen that. I mean, I know, like, Julia Roberts. You said that was it's a movie night. Oh, good. And my mom just went to Mystic and went to Mystic Pizza. Sarah just watched Mean Girls for the first time. Me? First time. That might be my favorite, like, where you're legally mm-hmm. blonde is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is mean my girl. Mean Girls. That's fair. I think oh, that. Oh, yeah. The Parent Trap. Oh, I love. I mean, Lindsay Lohan version? Yeah. Or the original. Yeah. I think the original, too. It's, it's good, too, but the Lindsay Lohan was, I mean, the, oh, the peanut butter and the Oreos. That changed. So, your life. I don't really like that combination. No, but I'm getting trained. Because I chose to eat things. I grew up uh, on uh, Are You For The Dark? I love that show. Who's the best? Hmm. Oh, my brain just fizzled. The show is Who's the Best? Me and my sister. We can watch that show. Oh, yeah. Watching that show. Yeah. The OG and the remake, both very good. Yes. Absolutely. Well, Lindsay Lohan, a lot of really fun movies. Hey. Great. Yeah. Plus, the the soundtrack was so good. Yes, it was. I want to grow up, I don't want to be in that a clue. Speaking of, oh, like, yeah. and that song? I don't remember so a clue. Get a clue. It was like, oh, oh that, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And the competitions of a teenage drama queen. Oh, yeah. Boy, did we really love Lindsay Lohan until everyone hated Lindsay Lohan. Poor Lindsay. She's coming back with some Hallmark great. films. Plus, she, like, owns a bar in Mykonos and is yeah, married. Okay. She's great. Right. Having a good time. She just had a little rough patch. She uh, just, you know, got a little chewed up. 
I also loved, and now in retrospect, is like problematic. She's the man. Speaking of Shakespeare Act, oh man, so that's one man. that I went into the theater to watch with the lowest low expectations. I had not like mm-hmm. I just was like, oh, oh man, so good. Okay, and the kid loses his hair because he dared to go in a haunted house and he sees a ghost. The creepy person explains the peanut butter solution to the kid and it backfires and he keeps growing his hair out and it won't stop. He eventually gets kidnapped by a paintbrush maker who wants his hair for paintbrushes. It's disturbing and bizarre and just really not this movie. I have never heard of this in my life, Gary. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, what movie do you think Dara should watch to continue less restricted movie viewing? Oh. Oh, because it's something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Mystic Pizza. I mean, Monty Python, Holy Grail. Yep, absolutely. Excellent movie. Um, I mean, did you get really? to watch, did you get to watch, like, P- was it, like, R rating was the threshold, or was it, like... Mean Girls must be PG-13. Yeah, it's definitely PG-13. Okay. I mean, definitely watch that. Definitely watch Legally Blonde. It holds up. Pretty Woman. Ooh, Pretty Woman. Good. A little bit. Probably. Hook. 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 Did you see Julia Roberts? It did not. was like a flop. Didn't get reviews and no one liked it. It's such a good movie. It's such a good movie. You got home, Jack. Oh. Oh, God. That movie destroyed me. That's one that my mom would sit in on. She really liked that one. She loved Peter Pan. I also love Peter Pan. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll talk about very The peanut butter solution, 1985. I wasn't born yet, Gary. Mm-hmm. Um, although, Gary, did, were you there at Brian's house when we watched We Sing in Silly Boat? I, we were talking about We Sing yeah. yeah, I was like, wait. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of oh, like yeah. what else like my sister and I watched as kids. But I'm pretty sure the Titanic. Oh, I watched Titanic. That too for early. sure. That was, mm-hmm. I watched it at Into. age... Oh, it came out in what ninety seven. I saw that movie about nine times in theaters, in theaters because my mom and my sister are so obsessed with it. It was really good, but it's it also was really good. cool. Man, first of all, that sex scene. Second of all, the ending. I was destroyed. I mean, well, yes, but also like seeing yeah. it, like yeah. I mean, watching all that happen. In the spirit of Halloween, there's a movie called Halloween Tree from the nineties. Let me know if anyone remembers it. Please join in the chat. Halloween Tree. I don't remember. Familiar. Halloween Town. Sure. What was that movie with like? Was it Wind in the Willows or like something about willows and it was creepy and scary? Uh, we watched it at gymnastics camp and I remember being really freaked out. Mm. But it's like what we watched during Bridget like, Jones movies. Man, I love Bridget Jones. Bridget Jones. It's like with the Witch in the Willows. Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. Witch in the Willows. I think that's definitely it. I really love it. the Witch in the Woods. No, Blair Witch Project. Oh, no, that one. Terrifying. So scary. Uh. Speaking of good scary, I loved The Others. That was one of my favorites. Yes. So good, right? Yes. And then, like, were you, like, weirdly obsessed with the idea of death portraits for a little while? Yes. Yes. Because creepy is that? Yeah. Very creepy. Very entertaining. Really good. Gotta love that movie. Wow. Yeah. Wants to watch okay. the Italian job that was a fan favorite in my house, mm, household. Okay, which was just a fun heist saw movie. Yeah, it's a heist movie. Oh, I've seen that. No, I lied. Yeah, that is a very fun one. Um, I also I talk about my movie viewing experience and the phases that like my sister and I went through. Like, we would like find an actor and like we'd go rent all of their movies. Oh, yes. And so, like, we went through Sandra Bullock phase where like we oh, had 28 no. days Miss Con- and Con- Miss Congeniality, Con- two Con- weeks' Con- notice. Oh, yeah. Sandy B. Sandy B. So good. Let's hear on a podcast. Um, then Julia Roberts phase. Do you remember the movie The Mexican? Her and Brad Pitt. I ever saw that. About like they went to like steal a fancy gun. Huh. Yeah. No. That's also where I learned the concept of like what goes up must come down because he shot a gun into the air and then into his head. Ew. Later in the scene. Yikes. Yeah. That's amazing. That My friend just went to a place I when you said The Mexican and I this might be a little bit offensive that my brain went to this place. Selma Hayek and Matthew Perry in Oh, Woman on Top? No. Help. Selma Hayek. Selma and Hayek, Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry. Oh god, it's gonna drive me insane. I can it's like I'm looking it up. It's like Fool's Russian. Fool's Russian. Oh, that was a that was a fun movie. Yep. I enjoyed that one. It probably doesn't hold up. I I doubt it. What else did I love? Oh. Um 
only because when we went on a cruise when I was younger, this movie played in the theater and it was raining a lot because it was an Alaskan cruise. Yeah. And it was that one with Freddie Prince Jr. where he lived with a bunch of models. Um, Scooby Doo. No. <laughs> it was like him and model. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. Head over heels. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That just took me way back. It was like rear window. Oh like they thought he had murdered someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was an entertaining one. Yeah. I, I haven't thought about that movie. Me either. Time. Wow. Oh, that just took me way back. Woo. You know what movie I did love that's a more recent? Okay. Deadpool. When I saw that, I was like, this might be my new favorite movie. I really loved that movie. I love every Spider-Man movie. Because I love Spider-Man. He's funny. Yes. They should all be funny. Yeah, funny oh, great. The first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. A blast. So, so fun. much fun. What a bop. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool. The Deadpool movies. Adam and I went for you know what time recently. What? Um, let's do Revenge. It's like it's very like. Do you remember Jawbreaker and yeah. Heather's? It's yeah. that kind of vibe. Okay. Teen movie. That's too new. Okay. Let's do Revenge. It's very, very good. good. Highly recommend. Fun. Okay, you and Adam on Valentine's Day. Oh, Valentine's Day. That's the whole story. We just oh. went for Valentine's Day. We're like, this movie so lives the best Valentine's Day ever. Yeah. Yeah. Anything with Ryan Reynolds. Absolutely. I love that man. Um, or Friends with, what was that called? Just Friends? Him and yeah. Tom Paris? Yes, Just Friends. Because there was just friends. friends with Benefits and, and, and No Strings Attached. Which, incidentally, I also love No Strings Attached. Wait, which is that one, one with Ashton Kutcher? That is Friends with... That's No Strings Attached, Attached right? I like the one with Ashton Kutcher. No strings attached. Yeah, with Natalie yeah. Portman. Yes. Yes. That one I love. Mm-hmm. The friend, that was Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis, ironically. I know. They, they just brought it up. Did you see this on TikTok? Ashton and Mila. What? Ashton and Mila just did like a Peloton class. You know how they do like live classes with people? Sure. I have a Peloton app for free from my health insurance, and I need to start using it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't have a bike or anything, but I think I can go on a treadmill. Fine, bitch. I'm with no, yeah. I'm with you. Well, they like runs and stuff. Oh, okay. I can tell them the Um, but they just did a Peloton class, and they they made some joke about like, oh, well, that year we were off making the same movie with different people. I mean, yeah, it was the exact same movie. It was, and it came out really like within months. Like it was, it was almost the same time. And like the poster was the same. Yeah, like everything about it. How did that happen? I don't know. In retrospect, studios don't talk to each other. I guess. But No Strings Attached is one of my favorites. I loved that movie. Definitely, maybe. Great movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Made me want to be a single fella. What a, what a weird thing. Yeah, it is weird. My aunt passed away just before Deadpool came out. Her kids were almost as devastated as I was, but we all went to see Deadpool together. We had no idea how badly we needed to laugh, and because of that, I defend that Deadpool is the superhero who saved my whole family. Oh, Gary. Oh, Gary, that's beautiful. And, yeah. I saw um, Stranger Than Fiction with my family oh. after Thanksgiving, and it was like, I guess, like, stuff was going on with my mom. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. for whatever reason, I was in a really dark place. Do you know Stranger Than Fiction? Yeah. You see it? For whatever reason, it struck such a chord with me. I was, like, ro- a rock. I was sobbing like a mad woman in the theater. And it's, like, something about being there with my family and, like, whatever I was going through at that time, just the and, idea like, not of, like, it. No, no, it was. Well, it was. Like, it, but, like, it, like men so, it moved me. Oh, my gosh. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, Gary. Yeah, yeah. I, a lot of people hated that movie, and I just... I liked it movie a lot. Yeah, anyway. Um, hmm. I also love Before Sunrise, Ellie. No, Before Sunrise. Before Sunrise, and then After Sunset, right? Because it's a... And it's a trilogy. They just made another one, too. So, During the Night is the middle. <laughs> and Uma Thurman, or am I just putting that together because they're married? Uh-uh. But... Be. Um, and I forget the director's name and everything, but it's an improvised, like, it's basically, like, this date that okay. this couple goes on before sunrise. Sure. And, like, the whole thing is improvised. And I remember an acting teacher talking to us about, like, in acting for film, just, like, the little nuances, and he kept bringing up before sunrise because it was all improvised, and so, like, there are nuances that were kind of, like, a real nuance. Right. And like body language because it wasn't scripted. Yeah, and so every single time I do this one thing, mm-hmm. I think of this acting teacher and this movie, 
and it's just um, gesturing which way to turn without breaking the conversation. So like walking like walking down the street with a friend and just being like we need to turn but I don't want to have to like break the the conversation so I just go blah, 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 oh and then we just like and then yeah. just yeah. Like, physically guide someone to turn. But it's not like I'm doing. It's not like and then I must turn, turn left now, friend. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I do it. That's not. Yeah, Julie Depp. Depp. Oh, serendipity. My sister just went to serendipity two days ago. Oh. Uh, yeah. I loved Serendipity. I didn't see that for a long time. Well, I saw that in the center that Hannah showed it to me like a few years ago and I had never seen it before and it broke my world. Oh, oh that was a good one. Truly the only John Cusack movie where I like him. And Jeremy Piven, like was in love with Jeremy Piven. Oh. oh. And then in Chasing Liberty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What did you think of The Ugly Truth? I was thinking about that movie the other day and I was like, I feel like I really liked it when it came out, but I don't think it would hold up anymore. I don't think I saw it. It was uh, Gerard Butler and... What's her face? Oh, that cool gal yeah. from an enemy to lovers and situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like news anchors. Oh, Twenty Seven Dragons also wonderful. Oh, bye, Dara. Nice to hang. Nice to hang. Actually, we should probably flip this guy, huh? Yeah. Let's do it. It should be used. Should we do the tape? Should we to work the first? Thing? Yeah, something that's robust. I feel like that's the key. Do you want me to get it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you might need it. I don't know. It's here. I'll stand. I'll stand. I'll stand. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Is it time for the flip? Yeah, the great flip. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch the Mine? Yeah. All right. I, mean, I don't mind. I mean. Right. Okay. So I watch this. Says. Yeah. Is to put it on top and then like create a nice seal. Okay. So like. Yep. Uh huh, and then you should flip it like towards you. Yeah. <gasps> I've never felt so cool in all my life. Wow. Yes. Oh, magic. Oh, microphone's in the way. Oh. <laughs> so long. Uh, that guy. Can you see? Oh, thank you, Jack Cameraman. Mm-hmm. 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 It's a little leaky. But I think it's going to be tasty. Yeah, I don't think it really matters how that is leaky. Mm. I'm going to take a picture of it. Yes. It's gorge. Oh it smells it so smells good. Like you know what it reminds me of? No. Those little, um, those videos where they do all the egg yolks in the flour. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? I do. Oh, Rob says, man, that looks great. And I don't eat cooked apples. <laughs> you know, I don't always like to cook fruit either, mother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at it on that side. Yeah. Look. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so cute. We did it. Ha. Let's eat it. Shall we ice cream? Yeah. Forgot about the ice cream. No. Hey. I don't know. I've been drinking the ice cream. Buy it. Say, would you like some? Yeah, it looks yummy. It looks so good. Work is terrible, but, you know, we're having fun. Then it's rough and ready. Yeah, that's our favorite uh, vibe. Oh, wait, if you add dairy, does that make it a chowder? Fettuccine. Get out of here, fettuccine. Ugh. Do you want a bowl or a bowl? Your mom says no cooked fruit, but I'd try it. I feel like a bowl might. You like dark Just because I think oh, it was gorgeous. Like, yeah. Ew. Also, this is your bowl. The other day it came out of my dishwasher and I just went, what? Hey, what? That's probably good. Get cream cheese frosting? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Doing it. I got it. The wrong spot. Oh, I don't think I have an ice cream. Oh, yeah, you can just do that. I'm all coming. Yeah, come eat. I'm hungry. I didn't. I realized I really haven't gotten any. I know. Really? No. Gosh. How many, like, like, how big of a thing? I mean, I feel like you get, get a whole apple in there. Yeah. Yeah. How much ice cream do you want, Jay? What's up? 
much ice cream do you want? Little me? scoops is five pounds. Little scoops. That's perfect. Little scoops. How much ice cream do you want? Two little scoops. Give her. For you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This looks so, so yummy. So yummy. Hope oh, that's good. Me too. Mm. Mom, do you remember that caramelized apple tart to town we used to have at that restaurant we like that I don't remember the name of? It's mm. the oh my mom just goes, Plus it's fun to say tart to ten. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I want the tart to ten. Okay, let's try. All right, here we go. <laughs> I like that face. Mm-hmm, me too. Mm. Mm. That's a, a soft apple, softer than I expected. Mm hmm. Mm. Almost like a pear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. That problem wouldn't steal me raw. <laughs> mm, the pastry works. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like mm. this. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, well, that's why I did see pear recipes. I mean, you could do it with pears. You would do it with pears? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That was not a surprise. Yeah, that would be delicious. Mm. Yeah, and the pastry worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jay looks like he's in a happy place. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Kimberly Ann, mm -hmm. can I have some more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not a happy endorsement. I, don't I want more. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Oh, did you like that? Get that up on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like this very much. <laughs> Yay! This is another easy thing I could do at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Our night. That's sure. good Thanksgiving. I think you might like this better than apple pie. Mm hmm. Which I didn't expect. Me either. Something about it being like a whole apple. I like this very much. It's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. It like actually like you actually get apple. Yeah, we're not gonna go fall asleep immediately like no. a pineapple upset. <laughs> oh man! We turned the camera off after pineapple upside down cake, and we all just went to bed. Uh huh. We all went. I'm, I'll do all this later. Oh. Yum. 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 That's heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. What a fun, low-key stream. Okay, looking back on every episode since you started KBFs, what's the thing that surprises each of you most about where the show is today compared to where you anticipated it to be on day one? Oh. I will be honest. I had no clue what this where it would go. I had no dreams about it because I was like, I don't know what we're doing. No. I would say many more successes than anticipated. Honest to God, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Bravo, ladies. Yeah. Thank truly, you. Truly. Sir. I love that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, definitely more successes. I definitely think I'm a lot more relaxed than I thought I would ever be. Me too. Doing it. Yep. Just generally kind of like doing a vulnerable thing in front of people cooking, which is, kind of sense. you know, we do a lot of things that I've never done before. So that's scary. Yeah. But. Well, today is, honest to God, this stream today is a shining example of how much more comfortable you guys have gotten uh, just hanging out in front of the camera. That's true. Uh -huh. We can kill time a lot more effectively. Because we used to, because we looked at this big and we were like, we could also make a loaf of bread. And Jay was like, don't also make a loaf of bread. I'll also make a loaf of bread. You, you guys are enough. Just hang yeah. out. You guys are enough. No. That's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Fat. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for coming to hang, as always. Ooh, this is really good. Okay, I am... Happy gal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yay. Oh, and I saved like one last sip of tea to just like. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Pretty yeah. Much. But that's really simple. Yeah. And it's relatively pretty. easy and pretty yeah. impressive. And we could probably like do so. dollops of whipped cream on it or, or well, something. Do like creme like, fraiche or whipped cream or something yeah. on top. Or, Ooh, like a glaze. Oh, cool. Or um, a pouring mm. custard of some kind. Oh. Creme anglaise. Don't eat them. <laughs> Just melted ice cream. I don't so. <laughs> she realized that. That's, yeah. Like a cinnamon creme anglaise? Oh. Yeah. 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 I, uh, 
This yeah. Is a, this is a big hit. We will share the recipe in KBF uh, Highly channel recommend. on Discord. It's pretty easy, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It would. Unless you're making your own puff pastry like a crazy person. Well, yes. In which case, very hard. <laughs> so don't do that. No. All right, guys. Yeah. We love you so much. We'll see you soon. Yeah. What's up? Oh, Gary Cherry! Cheers! Don't know what to do with bits? Thank you! We'll sing a song, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, we love you all. You do it.